I'm done. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to episode 21 of Arc 2 of Better Than Heroes. I'm Rachel Weeks, and I play Click, the level 8 Torcreen fighter. I'm Andrew Overdahl. I play the human bard, flute, whim teaser, a.k.a. the wind rider. Hi, everybody. My name is Jordan Dahl, and I play the moon boy, a level 8 moon boy. I'm Aaron Uris, and I play Kai Hammerstein, the Artificer. And I'm Harlan Kelly, and I play everybody else. I am the GM of this game. And tonight we have a very special guest with us. It's Dimension 20's own Brennan Lee Mulligan. Welcome! Yay! Ah, I'm so excited to be here! <laughs> we need to jam these spells! Um, yes. We gotta oh, jam them! Welcome to space. Welcome to fantasy space. Um, <laughs> uh, I love it. I'm so excited. And I'm playing a character that maybe I shouldn't reveal yet. Ooh, unless Harlan ooh. thinks I should. Not, yet. Keep Not quite. Secret. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. We'll do it on the other side of the credits here. <gasps> ooh, exciting. <laughs> I can't wait to share. Yeah. So pumped. <laughs> In yeah. uh, just a few minutes, we are going to get into this game. We're going to play some 5e Spelljammer-inspired D&D tonight. But first, our show is brought to you by Big Top Productions. Big the Top! Best. It is live, soundtracked by Jason Wardell on the synthesizer. Mm -hmm. And other things, probably. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> None of us know. There are keys back there. involved, <laughs> like, like what is that? lasers. That's a weapon for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and it is directed by Case Drury of Tiger Moon Productions. Ow! And now for last week's recap. Okay, last time on Better Than Heroes, in Laloon's garden deep within Ventress's secret vault, the party and their allies had just faced and defeated Malakation, the marshal of the Meridian Tract who had come to destroy the Moon Girl. Kai removed an evil presence from within Malakation's cruel lance in which he noticed Click had held a concerning interest. Windrider stumbled upon his band of Kuo Tuo worshippers performing a creepy ritual in the trees and discovered that they were using a strange fish magic to replicate themselves. Despite his concern, he commanded the fishmen to use their magic to finally heal Click, who had a lingering wound from a space lamprey's bite. Then there was a party! Moon Girl and Moon Boy spent what they knew could be their last night together having a rocking pickle rager. The next day, the crew crafted most of a plan to find and free the dinger. Then the stars aligned when the crew showed the Moon Girl Floriel's harp. She became emotional and asked to take the harp that it might be used to find Floriel, whom Laloon revealed to be her long lost companion. She had been searching many painful years. Windrider arranged for the Moon Girl to transport the fish people back to their home planet. He then attempted to harry in the Hendersons, his fish friends, by terrifying them with a fear spell, hoping to free them from their need to worship him. Leaving yet more strange friendships in their wake, the crew stepped into the Moon Girl's demiplane, where she knocked upon a cosmic door. Windrider, are you okay? And who's going to answer the door? A ghost? A dragon? A dungeon? The Bigfoot? Find out right now on Better Than Heroes! Jump the gun, we're in the title sequence. Nobody can see you. <laughs> ah, okay, diva, the arch diva. again. And we're back. Hi, hello. <laughs> okay, so um, there's two Brennans up on screen right now, and it's making me very happy. I just like the idea of one Brennan and yes. playing another Brennan That's in D&D. That's we do with special um, guests. We yeah, dub double them up. <laughs> it's true. You, you have to do both jobs. I hope that we told you that. Okay, yeah. so... Um, Brennan, yes. uh, your character 
finds, you know, he's been traveling for a while now, uh, alone on this smaller spell jammer helm, a uh, ship, um, using his spell jammer helm, and uh, hanging out, kind of like in the cabin, searching for, you know, we'll, we'll find out, but, you know, kind of just day in a life here a little bit. Can you give us a, a, a quick description of what you look like and maybe just, um, you know, a, a day in a life, just a little snapshot of what you're doing, kind of busying yourself in this ship's uh, captain's quarters? Oh, that's right. Uh, who you would behold aboard the helm of this <laughs> spelljammer craft? Is Charlie Chuz Chufties, all right? A looming and imposing figure of a gif. These are warriors, a proud race of the far realms, realm space, that bear some a passing resemblance to a hippopotamus. <laughs> um, wearing a, a shirt that already started looking kind of a stained ochre green, greenish brown. Uh, sleeves rolled up, sort of outback ranger style, with nice pit stains. And you can tell that the sweat stains really make the shirt. It's called a nice ranger hat with some teeth set around uh, the sort of top of the hat. And a nice pair of pince nez glasses just on his on his massive hippo snout. Uh, but he's got bad cataracts, so our eyes are magnified. Thick Coke bottle glasses. His huge eyes really look kind of like that Teddy Roosevelt kind of vibe. Um, <laughs> enormous arcane blunderbuss and a bandolier of huge shells. Uh, enormous ammunition. Um, but just just someone who looks like he spent his entire life in the far reaches of Spelljammer space. Um, I'd like to reach into my... I want to take out some kind of alien device. I want it to be like a like a small, scaly, amphibious parrot and just yes. squeeze it a little bit <laughs> and go... So I just take this parrot out and go... Day 45. <laughs> perusing the outer perimeter of, se of Vector 7. No sign yet of a leak in realm space. Keeping an eye on these portals. These bloody portals are popping up all over the place like warts on a space hog's backside. And I'm not for it! Want it on the record? Click, put the parrot away. Yes, ow, it, it hurts! Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, mate. I just need your recording device. Okay, I will, we'll get, I'll remember. I'll remember. We'll get, you, we'll get you some crackers on the back end, mate. Don't you worry. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm very hungry. Um, and uh, you've, like, you know, you've been on this track kind of like alone out here. And you've heard, you thought maybe at one point that you heard this sound, but now wide awake, kind of having your daily parrot salamander record out of the way uh, you're you're quite heightened here and you know you can hear a knocking on the ship like in, um just all throughout almost it's just like ringing but you hear just this incredible incredible um, i i would love to first before we resort to magic of which chaza has plenty to go around <laughs> Um, I would like to just start with some skill checks up top uh, and make a like I up to you whether this is survival or nature, but something like is this a natural sunspot realm space kind of space event happening or is this something weirder? A great question. Um, yeah, you can roll a nature or survival check. It will kind of get different, a little bit different answer from each one, but you absolutely can choose. I think there's a practicality to Chuz, and Great. so it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, survival first. Okay, cool. Ooh, that's only uh, that's a ten. I got a ten. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you are unsure right now if this is some sort of paranormal activity, some sort of like ghost in and about, or if it is some sort of uh, magical communication. It is somewhere in there, and in your your ears are perked. Your danger senses are up for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, and you know what? We're we're gonna go ahead and actually, uh, uh, if the skills aren't cutting it, then the supernatural shit will just have to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use. I am an eighth level Horizon Walker Ranger. Let's go. Um, uh, I'm gonna use Primeval Awareness as an action. I'm gonna expend 
uh, one ranger spell slot to sense whether any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead are present within one mile of me, or, or within up to six miles if we are in my favorite terrain, which I believe we might be. Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I don't care what your favorite terrain is. This is it. <laughs> um, you, you sense a couple like little feels here and there with a six mile radius as your your ship is kind of just like you know you peek your head out um, uh, letting it as you know, you're not currently spell jamming but you um, are able to kind of like peek your head out here and uh, look around as your ship is just floating through space and you can fit, send some tingles that's on the far reaches uh, but nothing close you know there's a maybe like uh, yeah like an aberration like a tiny little aberration hanging a out just a like gigantic just... space cat is drifting by somewhere right. <laughs> yes yeah yeah which is a fey creature, in case anyone was wondering. Um, Incredible. Look at the cat! Oh, there's a dog! It's a big animal hour! Um, it is. Um, yeah. So you know this is some sort of magical communication that is trying to uh, make its way into you, where you are. Do I have any instruments on the ship capable of picking something like this up? And I'm assuming, I'm in my mind imagining like a kind of like a wooden decked ship uh, with a with exposure to just the phlogiston of uh, sp of space. Um, yes, uh, cool. it's not the phlogiston, just to or, be annoying. But yes. it is open <laughs> wild space. Um, right, perfect. And it is it is your ship, Rin, so you can make it look however you want to. But uh, that is a typical, absolutely, just kind of like it looks like a, a sailing ship repurposed for this. Absolutely, that's uh, your ship. You can make it look however you want. I think this is a dope ass small person craft like catamaran with yes. weird, with yes. weird solar webs between the pontoons on either side Great. um <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, it's like little cabin. Everything looks like there's like weird shingles. It looks kind of like the walrus and the carpenter's shack in the middle yes. middle gondola of the yes. catamaran. And weird <laughs> like partially ghost fabric sail as I'm like scooting through. Some real shit where I can like swing on a rope and use my own body <laughs> weight to really like, you know, change the direction that the craft is going in. Um, I'm gonna like God. swing on a rope and like for my primeval awareness, just like, do something great. Like, I just grab some, like, space dust and, like, smell it. Like, <laughs> that's a sour spice wind. Um, <laughs> and, um, and swiggle back. And yeah, I'm going to jump into my shack and, like, do something that's like, clearly got, like, a colander or a salad bowl attached to some weird crystal. And I'm like, come in, come in. This is, uh, hold on, one second. This is Charlie Chaz Chuftings. Charlie Chaz Chuftings of the Guild of Spatial and Planar Travel. Is this a communique from an, an, a ship in distress? A ship in distress, hello. Um, <laughs> you can roll an Arcana check now. And you can do it with advantage because you've got your salad colander uh, helping you expand the reach of this. I love this game. <laughs> this is amazing. That's this a natural 20, baby! Yeah. Right out of the yeah. gate! Come on! Uh, when cool! Let's go. It's one it's of us. One of us. <laughs> oh, one, of, one of you, Aaron. One of <laughs> you. just Aaron. One of uh, only Aaron. Uh, oh, I think, I think he was talking about himself and yeah. just Brett. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Aaron unfairly rolls dice well. Uh, so beautiful, beautiful. You, with this, with you going down into the colander, you hear a very familiar voice, an old friend that whose voice it's uh, you've not heard in a long time. I don't want to tell you how your character feels, but for me, when I you know have this moment of like running into somebody I haven't seen in a long time, and I just like almost forget what their voice sounds like, and then it hits me, I'm just like, oh boy, here this is this is it. Um, and you hear this little old lady, this tiny little voice, go, well, Jesus, Jeff, I've been trying to call you for a while now. Just open, get my key out, put it in any lock, and open the door. The key I gave you. I, I need you deeply right now in this moment. Uh, Jeff, please open the door. I was there, I was there, Ron. Is that... Oh my God! S -s Stars and spell jams. Is that the loon on the other on the other it's, line? It's the loon, Chuff. It's the loon. I, oh, I haven't. Uh, oh, it's good oh. to hear your voice. I haven't heard you in so long. But if you get this damn door quickly, I'm gonna. 
Are, are you in trouble? Are you in danger? All right, I'm on the way. Guild business. <laughs> Cock this massive blunderbuss. I'm going to slam the door to my shack, reach into a, a I open a chest, thousands of keys, truly in no organizational system. A treasure chest full of keys. Ah, oh, wait, I'll leave this one. All oh, these fat gift fingers gone. Which, which one? I think I do. I want, I don't know if gift had this, but I want the, the like Nightcrawler fingers. I just want three. Oh I yeah, just want, sure. Hey, hey, hey. Here we go, bam. Uh, Brennan, uh, can you roll an investigation check just to, just for us to find out how long it takes you to find these keys? I just want to I just want to watch tonight. Is that cool? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna play. I'm cool. I'm cool with just wa with just watching this one. Is there? Are we are we actually at a door on the other side? We'll find out in a second. Um, so I want to say, before I, like, I go like, Loon, I have to shut the communication system down to get enough juice for me to open and open up a portal on the ship. Well, I'm working on limited battery reserves, but I want to tell you this, I will be there in the blink of an eye. The fastest you've ever seen a, 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 a planar ranger appear. I rolled a three on my investigation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So th this is it. so let's 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 cut to the party real quick. As Laloon is just screaming, this tiny little moon gnome is just um, in this demi plane with you all. This uh, very like white, foggy area that you all are both walking on the ground and don't seem to there doesn't seem to be a ground below you. You've walked into this empty space, uh, leaving the dungeon that you were in and are now hanging out here, just empty white space. It has this like dark uh, moonlight um, feeling to it all throughout. And you've been in there for a while now. And Laloon is at this point, just kind of like screaming at nothingness, just being like, just, just go, no, go, go. <laughs> and um, then she finally has this conversation that you just heard. And she's like, she turns to you all and she's like, Okay, okay, finally, thank goodness, we got him. We got him, and he's going to be here, and it's going to be easier than we thought. So he said he said he'll be here any moment, so good news. You see, I told you she hadn't gone insane. We don't have to kill her. She's fine. <laughs> I thought What's we that? were dead. I said on the table, I'm a very, I will, I, I have so many fireballs within me, and I will roast your asses. <laughs> Listen, I, you taught us to survive, and now we, it's a good question. Are we dead? No, not yet. We're not dead, uh, right? You would tell right. us if we were dead and you were God. No, I absolutely would not tell you, <laughs> because then it's like you, life continuing. It's, anyway. it like, it's like a rule that you have to tell us if you're God, right? No, that's, that's Otherwise, made up. That's uh, folklore. Anyway, that's vamp I'm thinking of vampires. Let's, let's all prepare. This is my friend Chuz. Please be polite. We used to work together, and he's, he's going to be here very in any moment. And she just kind of like sits there waiting expectedly for a very long time. And if you say anything to her, she's like, no, 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 Chess is almost here. <laughs> and um, Maybe we could, if you could call you him back. You could take him back, right? I yes, could I, give I him... could. I mean, we'd have to spend a day here, but yes. Maybe I could give him guidance over the phone? Or... He sounded I... like he'd spin into the space dust, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's judgmental. Just because someone is different than you does not mean he's space dust. I don't know if he's different from me. I just heard his voice. Sounded. And it sounded. Did. He had that I, kind of space dust edge I'm to it. Yeah. So I after, heard. No, I heard it too, guy. Yeah, there was a real thing. gum rubbing energy to yes. the whole thing. I after, it. About a, after about God, an I, hour, God, I uh, kill for some space dust right now. After about an hour, Laloon is quite defensive, and she's like, "No, he's coming! He's coming! He's coming!" And then at this point, um, all of a sudden, this like wooden shack-like door, you know, kind of like metal. Uh, patching parts of it, door just appears out of nowhere, and she's like, thank goodness! And the door opens, and um, onto your uh, ship, Chuz, comes this pile of six people. Uh, so if everyone wants to just give a real quick, like, this is my character, and this is what they, they look like around the circle, uh, we'll do it as this, this crew just piles in. Uh, I am uh, I am the moon boy. I am also a, a moon gnome. I'm a small, strange gnome gnomish creature. Uh, I'm dressed a bit like a wizard uh, with a little a blue kind of star, spangled hat, and pajamas, and a cloak of the same. And I've got really cool shoes on. 
uh, that allow me to fly. I'm Kai. Uh, I'm, for lack of a, for an expedient description, I am a robot made of bronze and light. <laughs> <laughs> that was expedient. It was. I like that. <laughs> I'm I'm the wind wind rider. I'm a human, about five foot seven. Uh, I uh, have a one eye missing, and I have a, a jewel in its place. Hi, wind rider. Uh, I'm Click. I am a seven foot pink mantis folk. Uh, I have a tall feathered in uh, antenna, and I wear a bronze translator over my face that allows me to be understood in common, and I have a bronze omnipathy engine that wraps around the back of my neck and allows me to use psionic abilities. Yeah, all of her tech sort of looks like it's made out yeah. of the same stuff that I am. Yeah. And then also with him is this uh, human woman with kind of like a um, like coiffed back hair, and she has one uh, entirely metal arm. Um, that seems to be made of a bunch of gears and also this tiny little old wizened uh, moon gnome as well that you know as Laloon and the um, mechanical armed woman is Talon and they all just kind of like pile on and quickly introduce themselves and <laughs> here you are with them Chaz uh, this ship is like packed to the gills <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> but I, I'm going to say right Will everybody welcome to the Ophelia Marie uh, my name is Chaz Chaftains. You're going to call me Chazza or Chazzy, uh, you, your preference. Um, but uh, for all your benefit, I'm gl glad to get you out of hands way. Um, yes, Chaz, it's, it's so, it's, uh, thank you. This like tiny little gnome walks over to you. She's like, I'm so glad that you still answer when I knock. I was worried that you wouldn't. Ah, oh, Laloon, my di darling, I, of course, I wouldn't dream of it. Have you done anything way? I'm going to sweep her up in a big hug. Oh. Uh, and say, uh, friends, welcome. Um, so again, Charlie, Chaz, Chaftings. I am a realm space ranger for the Guild of Spatial yes. and Planar Travel. And oh. um, uh, yeah, I, I've been, I've been watching you. Um, you're you're looking for um, the, you're, you're you're here on work, right? Yes, yes, yes. Well, in my line of work, you're always uh, work is always on the line, you know. So. That's sort of. Uh, I, you can tell I'm posing. I'm posing a little yeah. bit. I put, put the and art, it's put... Uh, the, it's working 100 percent on the Moon Boy. He's like, ah, I know exactly what you mean. This guy, I love it. It's the, the energy's infectious. Do me, do me a hug. Come on. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, is, oh, look at this little Moon Boy. What are you talking about, a Moon yes. Boy? Oh, I, I, it's infected. Now I'll, I'll feel like I'm, I'll catch you your exit a little bit. Oh, all right. Well, it's a little bit rude, but that's all right. It's, in, it's infectious. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I understand. Listen, I am sorry that I wasn't able to get to you in a, in a more timely fashion. What was happening was I was trying the keys, and I was any key that didn't work, I was disposing of back in the chest where all the keys were. So that's we were kind of just <laughs> cycling through oh. the top layer of keys. Uh, that's for... bad math there. That's bad math. You've got to, you've got to remove the variable. Well, you know, the Ophelia Marie is a trusty vessel, but there are certain amenities that we have to sort of do without, and a filing system for the many portal keys uh, is one of those amenities that we do without. So, you, really should hire, you should really hire a sidekick, Jeff. We've talked about I, I used to talk about this. You, do such a, you fly so low. So or, you could, or you could just get one of those things that you put on the wall that has hooks on it. Yes, an assistant. That's what I said. Like a, uh, no, no, like I, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't board that you wouldn't have to pay our fee. Oh, yeah. uh, I have a just a general question, Harlan. The only other GIF I think we've ever ran into was a a, a villain uh, working with the Witterers. Just it's like true. culturally, um, how are how do we uh, what are what are like GIF that that we run into in this world? Are they pretty common or pretty rare? I mean, it's 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 a pretty. It depends on where and uh, where you've been. I think it's it's you've definitely met some gifts that are assholes, and you've met some gifts that are not. Um, oh, okay, cool. So, so like yeah, any yeah. any race, there's cool. there's not a hard uh, kind of. It's like very cul uh, culturally known for them to carry firearms, but besides that, um, there's not too much. So Ameri Americans, cool. Yeah, I got I kind of, I, 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 I think I kind of <laughs> see uh, see. Um, 
Wind Rider doing this, kind of sizing him up, eyeballing him, uh, eyeballing Chuz a little bit, and I, uh, the Moon Boy takes the opportunity, because he's seen this change in Wind Rider, you know? Ch Wind Rider has become sinister lately, and he misses his old friend. And so he goes, Ch Chuz, Chuz, my new friend, this is, this is Wind Rider. He's also very cool. <laughs> ah, well... That's, uh, that's certainly, you know, one of those things I find bet better left unsaid, but certainly, <laughs> it's Wind a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I like that. Hello, Wind Rider. Wind Boy like, yeah. say something, hello. hello. Yeah, I'll shake, uh, I'll it's, shake it's, hands. Stop doing panicked racial <laughs> math. <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in for the handshake with Wind Rider, and I'm going to say, Wind Rider, can I ask you a question, mate? Yeah. Are you actually cool? No. Uh, 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 I'll kind of turn this sort of like fuchsia color. Uh, yeah. But, uh, I have like a black kind of flat crown hat that I'll uh, I'll kind of like reorient <laughs> on, on my head. Like. Yeah. I, I I think I'm I think I'm pretty cool. Can I make an insight check to Ooh, see if absolutely? See, I, just, yeah. I, don't, I don't. I don't think I'm not to, roll to see how not I just, <laughs> I just want to see if Wind Rider believes it. That's yeah, all. yeah. That, that's what. That, oh boy, that is you. I, you can make a perception check here or an okay. insight check. And I would, uh, to, I would to argue fully... that that Wind Rider is cool now. <laughs> he didn't used to be, but yeah. now he's all dark. And well, he's got we're about to, we're about to find out. Magic eye. I don't know. <laughs> this, is a, this is a pretty good. I don't think I've ever had a player roll to see if the the player no no that the care actual character thinks that they themselves are cool. It's a confidence check. Do. It all yeah. comes down I to this it. one. Yeah, and, uh, that's a fourteen <laughs> on an insight check. Okay, Andrew, I want you to roll against this, and you do it with guidance nope. because the Moon Boy sees this in in your eyes. He's like, "Come on, <laughs> don't embarrass me, Wind Rider." Uh, okay. what, it, what am I rolling performance for performing like I'm cool? Yes. I'm, yeah. I, I was gonna uh, say no modifier, but I like that a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I am a USDA choice poser. Um, <laughs> USDA. Uh, that'll be tw a dirty twenty. All right. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yes, absolutely. For this, this is one of those moments that you've had a couple of throughout this campaign, where you're able to, to buck up just a little bit and and. <laughs> Look him straight in the eyes and say whatever you want. He's but, like probably yeah. a good foot and a half taller than me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. Hey, thank you for being honest with me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Put it right there, Wendy. Um, and I'm I'm gonna wink as I say, Wendy. And it's Wendy. And it's very much like. I, like, Chuz has given you, like, four nicknames in the three minutes you've known him. <laughs> so it's clear that this is, like, a part of GIF culture of, like, there's like, something he... Like, All right, Wendy. Good, good on you, mate. Wind Rider has given himself four nicknames. <laughs> so this is new you for really, him either. Yeah. <laughs> you really touched on the heart of this campaign, which is naming Andrew's character a new thing. So. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Uh, That's what we needed. Um, I'm going to call you Sinky. So uh, <laughs> throughout, the, so th you know, throughout this like weird, awkward exchange in this very small space that you've all kind of like shuffling around, and there's this intimate moment between you two. Finally, like Luloon uh, bucks herself up here, and she's like, "Oh, good! I'm, I'm, I knew that you would get along. In fact, I've been watching the stars uh, through my various means of divination, uh, and, and found that your uh, quests have uh, aligned. They." You need their help, and they need your help, and I have to go. So, um... <clears throat> no, it, Loon. I no. Have, why do you have to leave? Um, and she gets real serious here. She kind of, like, changes. It's been, like, almost, like, distant and distracted, and then she looks at you right in the eyes like you're the only person in the room, and she's like, I'm going to go find Florial. I am some mysterious things are happening in this world, and I need my old friend by my side, and I think I am the only one who can go fish them from the depths that they are in. So I'm going to go find them. Hmm. All right. Alone. You know that I owe you my life. Oh, you're like a... You're like a... And I think I pause, like, almost going to say mom, but change it to, like, 
you're you're like a sister to me. And, um, Good I answer. <laughs> Heads up, Florial. I know that Florial's your heart and soul. She can be trouble. You know how I feel. You know the history that we had. So oh yes, it's true. Be, I'll look after your mates. Yeah, just be well, and uh, maybe next time we'll actually have a split of tea. Catch up. I cannot wait to have a bit of tea with you. I have a really good. It's quite bitter. It has this like smoky flavor tea that I'm gonna bring around next time. If you drink too much of it, it's a poison. But um, that's kind of the fun of it. Hey, uh, let me tell you, you drink too much of anything, it's a poison. It's <laughs> a- <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> we are laughing. We're laughing. <laughs> We're laughing again. Once again, finally. We are laughing again. Thank you. Um, please know, Chuz, that I, Chuzzy, my boy, that um, I feel the same way as you. And um, you are you are family, uh, you know the kind of family you only see once a year. But like, it's still good to hang out. And um, mm. I would not give them to you and put them in your care if it wasn't important to me and I didn't trust you. So she spits in her hand and puts it up to you. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably so much. Trip, <laughs> trip, trip, trip. Um, I, oh, yeah, and she's a I gnome give too. A spit on a gnome. Uh, it's, uh, that's then, what all that stuff is everywhere. Uh, um, with that, with that, real quick, she's just gonna, you know, kind of make eye contact with you, look at you, look at the party, and go. I'm sorry, uh, our time is so short. I'll see you soon. And before you can even, like. Just so quickly, she uh, reaches over to you, Kai, and is like, Hawk, please. Oh, of course. Yeah, right. and you, yeah, you just hand over the harp Pulling to her real the... quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It has one uh, string on it. Yeah. The moon, the moon boy runs in, and before she can go, gives her a great big hug. Oh, oh he got in there. And he, she... goes, uh, he goes, no, I'm not crying. This is a business hug. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, fine. We'll see you again. Thank you for everything. Good, good deal. Good deal, Moon Boy. Yes. Good business. And she kisses you. She kisses good you business. on the forehead. Well, business kiss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I we're adventurous. So, yes. She right she right kisses on the business on the, end. She kisses you on the forehead and steps back and just plucks the one string. And you see a, a swirl that looks very similar to what you uh, you flute have seen before, which is uh, same similar to Valerie Lavray when she was shifted away. She oh, plucks right. the string. There's just a tone, and she whoops, and oh. it's just gone. Oh my God, she's dead. <laughs> no, I think she forgot about the Kuatoa. Oh well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She has no, a she, plan. I promise she has she a plan. She probably <laughs> went to go deal with that first. Um, They're trapped. And <laughs> yeah, we're gonna co- we're civilization gonna f- of people in a basement. Uh, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna come back <laughs> and find them, and it'll like be three centuries have passed for them, and they're in like medieval England times now. It's mm-hmm. like four hundred thousand of them. It's Big colonial Williamsburg. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so the NPC Talon steps up here uh, with this like huge mechanical arm, and she's like, um, "So, Chuffy, can I? Is that? Is it cool? Can I call it? That's the Chuffy. Well, I didn't know I was in a court of law. <laughs> oh, <excuse me. laughs> we were giving out nicknames. I was trying. I'm cool too, right? Come on, guys. I'm cool. No, he got you. He roasted okay, you. Sorry. Chuz, right off your feet. Chuz, Chuz. You look like a fool. Excuse me. Yeah, someone. We know who's in charge now. She she, she kind of like hum, like clearly stepped up and was like, "All right, I missed the shot." Um, <laughs> she's like, uh, "Lulun gave me this and this." She pulls up this small astral bulb uh, here that is like a, a small glass orb, and you would quickly recognize it as a map of some sort. That is uh, in the same way that you're traveling through the ocean. It's just kind of coordinates you know you're going from here to here but with uh more dimensional space it takes more dimensional guidance so she holds up this orb and she's like she um the loon gave me the coordinates for this the, the dock of the bones where um 
She said, the portal you're looking for is there? I don't know what that means, but um, I can show it to you if you'd like. Oh, you're looking for a portal? That's nice. Yeah, we... Oh, I'm almost always looking for some sort of portal. <laughs> is that to get us to the Probably. dinger? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's where the dinger's going, right? Yeah. Yes, she looked into the future and saw that it would yeah. be there eventually. We haven't had a lot of luck with portals, to be fair. Yeah, most people don't. I have to be honest, they're... Um, 90% of what I do is the maintenance and regulation of far-flung portals and trying to find and map out the farther reaches of realm space. A lot of good people get harmed by the wildness caused by the appearance and sudden spontaneous creation of portals, holes in space. And well, really? uh, well, now we we met a guy, remember? We met that guy. And he had a... Um, um, yes, and he came from, it's, what did he call it, Earth? And he uh, he had a mustache and Something a knife ridiculous like that. and a gun and he fell he fell through a portal and then in the end kind of we think fell into another one. Mm. A portal inside of a portal. So there was well, one portal and then another one. Uh, no, it was it was two portals. But the, the, we sort of met a portal and brought it to life and it was our friend for a minute and then it kind of gained an, a wicked sort of sentience. Sorry, you brought you brought a portal to life. Uh, we exactly. didn't. No, we no, no, it. It. He's, he's, he's misremembering. It was a, the ooze was a friend of ours, and it ate the guy who came through the portal, and then the right. ooze went through a portal. Oh, it that's was, it. it, it that's a, a lot more. That's it's all a little bit of, different. Obviously, I'm not. You know, on a personal level, I'm not a fan of, of people being eaten against their will. No, we but didn't like that either. That was really we... the tipping point in our relationship with the yes. ooze. <laughs> Sorry, you sort of struck up a friendship with an ooze. Yes, but the ooze sort of called itself a droplet pulled from a pool, which, and then later we saw a pool that was kind of a portal, so we think they might be connected. It's a whole thing. <sighs> yeah, I, I sort I kind of, of feel... Uh, my feeling is that if I continue to pull the thread on this letter, <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something about all of you, which is not what we're here to do. I so, think <laughs> so. We made did. mistakes. We banished her. She's We've all <laughs> met oozes that we thought could learn to love, but instead <laughs> uh, hungered deeply for the sentience of other creatures, and Brother, we let all me tell you misunderstood all... their intentions. Uh, and I'm gonna go for, a, sort of... go for a, a fist pound with Kai as, as <laughs> my. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I, how do I? I give him like the way you grab the fist the gear shift. you don't know what to do. <laughs> yes, that's it. Good one, yes. Kai. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Chessa. Right. Well, look. Can, can we not the... linger on mistakes of the past? We have to rescue the dinger. Yeah. Oh, right. Mistakes of the of the present <laughs> are yeah. calling. I'll try yeah. to... Can we not lose more friends because <laughs> we loitered? Right. This is just well, me at a party. It's like just saying the worst thing you've done like immediately to like a yeah. stranger when you're just like, what? I don't know what's going on. Here's some, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So. I'm going to, I feel like like Laloon's vouchsafe means we'll, we'll like pave over a lot of potholes for Chuz. Right. Um, uh, I'm going to take this astral orb and, and sort of acknowledge Tao and say, thanks for these. And I'm gonna do that that real. I once again have like the the blunderbuss over the shoulder, again kind of kind of posing a little bit as I walk, of doing the expository speech while I do an unrelated task that seems hard to do. You know, they're like, yeah, I'm gonna do a task. I go like, right. So what Laloon's making reference to, and I'm gonna drop the orb <laughs> into what like looks like a small like little washing machine on my ship that has like a hand crank on the side <laughs> that I got to get going really fast to like produce, produce the star map. Like, <laughs> and I'm like <coughs> I knew, so I know Laloon from way back. She and uh, some others helped me out with an incursion of dream eaters about, you know, five, 10 years ago, back when I was just a, still a greenhorn for the guild. Now, dream eaters, I need to tell you, are real trouble. And they love nothing more than to get each other out through here. Forget wild space, forget realm space. 
that are always trying to get to the prime material. And those are the exact kind of people that not only do we want to preserve from the worst ravages of realm space, but also keep out of our business, so to speak. So, I've become aware somewhere in Vector 7 here that there is a, 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 an unregulated portal. And based on some of the uh, environmental effects I've been seeing in various planets, reaches of wild space, other portals, uh, it would appear that maybe we have a uh, unregulated doorway that's been opened into Dream Eater space. Not for someone to venture in, but instead for somebody to uh, invite their friends out. So that's the danger that the loon is referring to. And if she has a map to that portal that I've been looking for, we might need to strap in for some serious trouble. Have we heard of uh, that... Dream Eaters, Harlem? You can roll a history check. And while you're doing that, um, one other person can roll a history check, and I would like the other two people to roll uh, insight checks real quick. I'll do uh, I got, the, I got that insight. That's another uh, dirty 20. Uh, yeah. I love, to, I love do... to waste them on history before the big yeah. fight. My right. man. <laughs> Hold on to that real quick. Uh, who, uh, uh, who? I will do insight, but I'm going to expend charges on the myth of the engine. Cool. And then, so Aaron, uh, you want to have Kai do a history check too? 13. Cool. All right. So um, you have not heard of this, but uh, Windrider, you have. You've, you've heard of this. You kind of heard that Dream Eaters were more of legendary creatures, kind of like debatable on whether or not they're real, similar to like the Astro Porter Motorials that you've come across before. And um, the fact that he is saying this so like straightforwardly and clear mindedly is, is scary because it is a thing from another world that is very destructive and known to be something that haunts dreams and kind of devours people as a result. Um, so what is what do the inside checks get? Uh, 15. Moonboy? 27. Uh, Moonboy, uh, you almost feel the increased heart rate of Talon in her sweaty palms across the room as she clearly has a crush on um, this uh, character. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as she like when he goes through and describes all of those things and is talking about the work that he does she's just like trying to be like cool <laughs> 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 yeah <laughs> definitely yeah, uh, yeah, yeah 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 moon boy sees it and i think talon sees him and he just winks at her <laughs> you got something and, right, uh, boy. and uh <laughs> he goes now i was winking because i realized that you she puts her have hand a over crush. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have um, you have a crush on. on no, no. Uh, I. <laughs> she coughs really loud. Um, and right at this moment, the washing machine that you are cranking, um, it kind of like whoops out this vision of what he starts as all of uh, realm space, this kind of galaxy, and zooms in very quickly. Uh, as it gets closer and closer, and it, you see the planet that you all are um, navigating the edges of right now, and uh, it's this planet called Garden, which is not a single terrestrial body, but it's a bunch of root-like ties uh, that tie together a bunch of asteroid pieces of Earth. Um, and there's this cluster of different small planets, kind of like a, an island cluster that is a whole planet. And um, you can see your own ship floating through the edges of this, which is where you were when this crew jumped on your ship there, Chuz. Um, and uh, it zooms in past that too, to the point where it uh, goes past the ivy of one asteroid that is kind of like cloaking a large point of the outside and it goes through the wall of it like it's you have the cheat codes on in a video game and um inside all of a sudden you can see this cove this absolute trove of a small town that is operating inside of here Whoa. and case if, in case if you want to go ahead and throw up the map um, Whoa. And I will, uh, I can drop the link if you need it, Brennan. Um, but uh, you want to check out our Roll20 page here. 
we you all yes. will be able to see the the <gasps> map very soon oh of my God. what you all are looking at here. Um, a map. So, and this is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a um, map. And this is I love map. So you kind of like have this intro oh, to. Uh, that's not it. Hold on. Whoa. Ah! Yeah, you Get have out of this... here, pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you all kind of have this introduction to the space that you are about to go into. Um, I have your tokens on there. That's not where you all are at. I just have them on there. For right. Later. We're, we're still in <laughs> Chuz's catamaran. Yes, some, exactly. some distance away, right? Okay. Exactly. Yes. Incredible. Oh, my God. Thank you. This map okay. is made by Joshua Smith. He's at Every Map a Story on Instagram. He's amazing. He goes above and beyond. He, he Truly, this one, like blew me the hell away. I it's love it so, so much. Gorgeous. With the cranes? Um, Come on. The cranes. Um, so yeah, but you all can see this scene. Um, you can't quite see uh, a exact, like, you know, there's not, like, people moving around on it, because this is is what it is. It's a map of the space, but you have this entrance that is the map of the space that you all can kind of, like, decide how you want to approach here. Harlan, how familiar am I with this particular asteroid of garden? Um, you can roll a history check. It is a very difficult one, as this is a hidden sure. pirate cove. But uh, yeah, if you get over twenty, wanna... I actually rolled really well. But what's well, the question? Is what's my history check? <gasps> oh, twenty one. Holy yeah, <laughs> there it is. Wow. Uh, I got a yeah. plus two history modifier now, kids. Yeah. Um, this, uh, yeah, this is, uh, known as, um, uh, what you would know it as the Cove of the Bones, which is called that because the pirate group, the Bones, is the only reason this exists, and they've built it out here, so it's just called the Cove of the Bones, their main hideout, and, uh, you have been here one time, kind of, like, working a very dangerous job that you got paid well for just being muscle- on a spell jammer ship and uh it's you know it's a dangerous area and um mm. you've also been told before too that this is a uh if you all are able to kind of like take over this space without killing anyone you will have a oh, further right. advantage in the future but um you would know because you've been here in order to do that you have to take this tower this is kind of the command center tower that i'm pinging here um okay and yeah, because maybe somebody made a joke to you about that on the ship. That's like, yeah, sure. that's where that's where all the bosses live, and it's yeah. like looking down on everybody. And yeah. Um, so yeah, you oh. all, you can ask more questions if you want to, kind of like about this space, how how to yeah. approach, et cetera, et cetera. But um, so I we're think, stepping uh, a little bit out of game here. Is like you're gonna have to enter this space and, and yeah. fight in this space somehow. But um, do the bones the have a uniform like the widowers did? Uh, yes. What do we know about the bones apart from? Yeah their excellent gang naming skills. <laughs> they're skateboarders. Um, nothing, Jordan, you know nothing. <laughs> they're eighties they're eighties uh they're eighties skateboarders. Relax. Uh, Ooh, I, I hope mean, so. If I've been there before, what do 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 I know yeah. how to recognize recognize a bone yeah. when I um, see one? <laughs> that's a <laughs> but um, um yeah, yes, I'm going to just keep rolling with the over 21 here, is that yeah. you know that there are um, kind of like traditional <clears throat> pirate carb, you know, these kind of like, um, like kind of opulent but still ragtag uh, sure. get-ups, but they often signify themselves by mm -hmm. having bone sashes or having some sort of like sure. bone earring mm -hmm. uh, or something like that. Yeah. But it's, it's not a hard like a little form. bone on it. Just gave away that pirate onesie like an idiot. Um, <laughs> uh, I want to. So, Click has been here before. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna. I want to talk to Click and say, so you've been to this port before. You've been to Garden and this asteroid specifically. Well, I I grew up on Garden, but I've been here quickly. I I, I, I was I was just here to defend a ship. Right. It's, well, once we get the... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, Harlan, 
when I hear the bones, do I make a connection between the bones and an, any other group with bones in their name when I hear this, or no? Um, let's, uh, man, I don't, like, I want, what's a rule? I guess it's like a history check, but I kind of want you to just, like, what does your gut tell you? What is your my gut, gut tells My gut you? tells me that pirates, um... Uh, yeah, I think I think I, I think I uh, am as like I think Chuz is as distant as Brandon is right now of like the bones. <laughs> they never the the cove of bones. They never get elongated into anything. And when you were when you were there, were were there plenty of Gith Yankee amongst the number there of those people who lived in this specific cove? Um, in fact, since you rolled over a twenty. Um, I will. You saw one single Gith Yankee who was kind of standing atop the this tower that that joke was made about here, and um, it was it is odd to see a Gith Yankee in realm space at this period sure. of time. So it was notable to you. Okay. Um, yeah. I. I mean, there was one. He was. He he was in the command tower somewhere. Really? Maybe that's where the portal you're looking for is. Um, yeah, all, all cards on the table so we can be as coordinated as possible. Um, once we get to the cove, I'll be able to sniff out the portal. Um, uh, assuming it's in the tower, that'll be easy peasy. But um, that sorry, the map the map's scale looks pretty zoomed in. So that entire town is pro like like would you say would you say that the town like uh, like how big is the town? Is it, is it like miles in all directions or is it uh, smaller than that? Uh, great question. It is not miles in all directions. Uh, there's a probably about like um, you know there's uh, enough for like less than a thousand people to live here but there are just like a, a you know this spattering of houses it's more of a inlet uh yeah. society than like sprawling and sprawling gotcha um so i'm gonna say it's a small enough it looks from the map like it's small enough that i'll be able to sniff the portal out as soon as we get there we can approach from the wilderness but click is it possible that you might as someone who's been there and lived there before that if we were just to saddle up to the harbour side. Do you have enough good standing there that we might be able to just walk walk out onto the docks, or is this a situation where no. we should take the... Oh, right. I, so we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I didn't live on, on this section of garden. I've, I've just been been sort of in and out. Um, so I, I, I might be able to to point things out, but I, I've got no standing here. Well, I, do... Do I know the relationship between the widowers and the bones? Are they uh, allies, rivals? No, no, you can roll a history check. Okay. There you go. Side note: I just watched oh. Waterworld, and this is real Waterworld type map. Yeah. Yeah. Smokers, yeah. smokers. I got the, the mutation. Yield, yield natural twenty, so a twenty. Yeah. Wow! Look at that. <laughs> Blowing these history nice checks out of the water. Yeah. Nice. In the words of the ancients. Oh, wow. Windrider has been studying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have uh, you have needed to kind of like survive by knowing a lot of this history too. Plus, you went to college, like you went to school. You've studied a bit of the these oh, yeah, anything involving here. pirates. I'm sure I, uh, <laughs> I majored in <laughs> pirate college. I majored he in swords and pirates. <laughs> No, it was, it was Bardic College, but I'm sure any tidbit of pirate shit I, I've yeah. definitely read up on. Um, it, they have a very healthy treaty. The Bones are known for being, uh, for not starting shit, for not being hot-headed, but for being very uh, business-like pirates. They will stay out of the way but until they need to be vicious, and they will get the job done no matter what. So... Um, they, the widowers are not an unwelcome sight, and they kind of, between clicks, natu, you know, over twenty and your natural twenty here, uh, a a practice that is like known and could happen is you all roll up with a business offering for sure. That is something you could do okay. if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll pitch this like, we we have some widower disguises. We could we could pose as widowers, looking to resupply. Well, I mean, the question is, how are we going to 
re how are we going to take this entire post without killing any pirates? How do you we even we take the, the tower? tower right? Take, take the, the tower. Yeah. Yes, but I mean, but how do we take by, the tower without killing anyone? Do we do it by force? Do we? If maybe we they. Uh, <laughs> do we challenge someone to a game of, you know, chess, shuffleboard, or something? I don't know. If we can get close, I could charm the leader. That's a good start. Um, approaching with some sort of business would be great. It would be. It would be excellent to get our feet on the ground before we have to make the call. Once I'm there, I'll be able to sniff out the portal. And look, it, it, you know, it's even odds that the portal's in that tower. However, we can't be certain of that. And there's a world where maybe if the portal is at the outskirts of town or somewhere else, we can avoid a fight entirely. But Right. Um, and if we have to fight, we can try to fight in the tower and simply fight to wound and not to kill. All so right. Do, do I have a, a sense that that I'm not allowed to kill people or something bad will happen? Not at all. <laughs> so you, might, you all seem very interested in this don't kill people thing. I, it's only, uh, it's it's only it's, because Lelune told us to try to do it without killing. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they have listen, hostages. we have no they problem. Are your they have, right now. They have our, back your ship. Yeah. They have yeah. our they, crew yeah. hostage. Understandable. All right, so we have a hostage situation. Uh, listen, obviously, look, I, I'm not like, you know, my m most places I go, even though I work for an authority based in the plane of order, most places are... are happy to see... Or I don't actually know if this is true. Harlan, would most people be happy to see a, like planar ranger roll in to be like just because i because i think chuz is stays very out of military actions and is like just here to make sure your portal don't implode and eat your town <laughs> um uh but i don't know what, what, what the attitude of like a pirate cove would be towards a portal ranger showing <laughs> yeah, I think I think I'm not going to make you roll for this because this is like kind of like a crux of the the character that you have beautifully designed. Um, is that you your your guild's relationship with pirates is not hot. Like you're not an official showing up and they're like, "Ooh, okay, you're an official. Like we're mad at you about it." Like, uh, but like that is something you could probably get away with because portals are so out of this world and so bigger than anything here. Um, but you know, dealing with a dream eater is kind of like putting that in another category. Um, so, mm -hmm. but you know that like also dream eaters are not like political beings. They're not people, they're not beings that are just like going right. to be doing. Yeah. So there's, there's I a am gray like, area there for sure. I am like a institutional official showing up but I mean, it's like, this is the, the vibe. It is like, hey, I'm an authority figure, but it's like, I'm here. I'm literally, I'm animal control. I'm here yeah. to like, yes. there's a, that's, there's a, let's go with, let's, let's, that's let's a good go angle. With, yeah. Everyone let's likes animal front. control. <laughs> yes, we don't, exactly. <laughs> Everyone's happy to see animal control. <laughs> yes, when the animal control shows up, it means you're, you're like, finally oh, going to party. To be allowed to take a shower again, because he's going to take care of the raccoon. I got a raccoon in my house that's probably gonna explode and swallow us in a black hole. Uh, Let's, yeah, we don't, yeah. we don't necessarily have to go in flashing badges around, but if anyone asks, then yeah, yeah we'll, we'll be, be like, like oh, hey. Thank goodness you're here. There's a dream eater living up yeah, on hey. the porch. Hey, listen, do you have <laughs> dreams? Cause this thing wants to eat them. It is ravenous for dreams. Yeah, what are we doing there? I We're agree. With him. Let's We're with let's the band. get We're... let's get. Now that we know how to do it, I think the wisest course of action is to get to the dock of the bones and figure I it out from there. I like Wendy's idea about you being a group of widowers. It'll look sure. if yes. I if if it, it will help me out because listen, I've interacted with plenty of criminals, plenty of space pirates. It's nice if I show up with a gang of criminals because it, okay. it, it you just see what I mean? It all it says, yes. look, this guy's already, you Great. should deal with this ranger. He's already like dealing it. with yeah. a group of, of uh, pirates. Inoculated, my... says Talon. Right. Yeah, you've been inoculated with the I'm like, the, the inoculated? That's bang on. Good job, yeah. Tally. I like it. You could say that, that uh, the <laughs> shipwrecked and he picked us up. <laughs> 
Sorry. Um, uh, all right. Um, all right. Yeah, we I'm... were shipwrecked and we were just like, take us to the nearest pirate place. Yes. I'm gonna... Any pirate thing <laughs> is fine. I'm going to cool. set a course. So, oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no you go first. I'm going to set a course for that. Um, and as I'm setting a course for garden, I'm going to look over at Click and just say, it's possibly that it's possible that it's nothing. But you should know that uh, that Gith Yankee you saw. It's possible that the bones are just pirates. It's not an uncommon name for a gang to take. Intimidating, scary. Back when I was fighting against the Dream Eaters with the Loon back in the day, there was a organization. The Bones of Fate. A group of Gith Yankee. More than pirates. Zealots. There was a sect of them. Dangerous on a whole other level. Organized, committed. I would hate to think that this is uh, more than a coincidence. And I'm gonna set Ooh. sail for garden, yeah. baby. Cool. Oh, all right. So, do you all feel good about rolling up the dock as the the plan of here's, action here? Here's a fun yes. twist, though. We only have enough widower patches for us, not Talon. Well, we don't need one for uh, 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 Chuz. Jesus Christ, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> how many? Chuz. How many do we have? Chaza. We have four. I could. I don't need one. Well, no. Uh, uh, that's right. You can I cast think, disguise self. Uh, I mean, I what? A, 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 I, I unless I, what they're going to buy that yeah. one of the <laughs> that I'll one of the in. widowers is a magical metal man. Uh, I'll chime in and light. say, "Brother, I appreciate you looking out for me, but uh, guild protocol. I, I, I can't go in in disguise. I have to represent myself as a guild ranger. Sure. So that's what I have to do. But I appreciate it. If, as long as you're, as long as I have all you vouching for me." That's going to be more help already than anything else. Yes. All right. Well, we still are short one one patch. Well, I've got a question. Kai, if, if Kai's using Disguise Self, then he, we should be fine. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say we could chew back a click again. Yeah, click is uh, <laughs> not at her best when she can speak. <laughs> <laughs> but if for some reason... She takes, the... You take off your, your translator. That's the plan. No, yep. no, leave it on, please, if for they... now. <laughs> If no, these bones please. are actually a extension of a terrible Githyanki organization, then they might have communication with the Meridian Tract, and then they might know who we are. So, the, well, uh, I could, uh, you know, I could ask the moon. Ask the moon. All right, let's um, let's Never let's have you ask the, the moon, moon, and then we'll uh, we'll cut to break right after that. So. This will be the last thing, and you can kind of. Okay, um, so. We're, we're, I'm going to have you all kind of like pick it up at the docks, and you all can tell me how how you're sure. approaching after you get the information from the moon here. Uh, so. The moon boy takes off his hat, and he uh, kind of uh, shakes it out a little bit, and he peers into it and sees a field of stars, and there in the middle is the moon, and the moon turns around, and he says. Hello, the moon. Hello, moon boy. The moon, I've got so much to tell you, but we're, suffice it to say, we're, uh, we're all safe and sound, except uh, Goliathan was kidnapped. Oh, and no. I know, but I think we'll get, I think we'll get him back, if he's still alive. <laughs> uh, Anyway, we're going to sort of infiltrate a pirate cove, uh, headlong, bit of a bunker buster situation. Uh, wow. I've got a question. Do they know who we are? Do the bones know who we are? Hmm. Let me ask the dungeon master. <laughs> yes, that's right. So, yeah. so this is the thing where, you know, Moonboy puts his hood over his head and has uh -huh. this moon inside of here and you're casting the spell. Um, Augury. Augury, and you get a, the answer is wield or woe. Is this the first time today that you have asked this question? It is 100% true, whichever way that is. It could also be a mixed result. But you asked a very good question, in my yeah. opinion, which was, do the Bones know who you are? Do they ha have your crew's reputation? 
and um, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna cheat a little bit here as it says wield as it's yeah. good it's a good result sure sure they, and I think I I can I can interpret that you know the uh, the yeah. moon boy is a uh, He's a uh, he's a seer of things, albeit a green one, uh, and he he learns to interpret this, and he uh, he thinks it would be a favorable condition for our group. So I'm gonna say that yes, they don't know who we are. <laughs> the answer to your question is good. <laughs> mm, I don't know. You figure it out. Hell. Oh, the moon. <laughs> oh, moon. Chase oh, me, moon, moon boy. Chase me. <laughs> Oh, the moon. As as is your way, you are clandestine and mysterious and oh so, oh so funny with the voices. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your prognostication as always, the moon. You're welcome. Bye. I love you, the moon. I love you too, moon boy. The moon, the moon he, pulls, away. Yeah. he pulls his hat out. He pulls his hat out of his <laughs> wizard hat and he goes, okay, I think we're good. So, like, mm -hmm. they don't know who we are? I think that we're good that they don't know who we are. It's <laughs> good. I think it's, yes. The moon The moon seemed more joyous and uh, just vibrant than I've seen her in months. So, you know, good. all signs point to yes. <laughs> Thank you. She's been I feel in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to engage more with her projects. I don't know why I'm... There's a combination Brit, Brit, between Brit, Kai and the moon. It looks like I was going to say. I was going to say. I was like, that's a pretty excellent spell there. You speak to the moon. In, uh... Yes. Well, the um. Yes, the moon lives in my hat, as far as I know. <laughs> All right. And um, are you able to do that with the use of magic? You be able to to put your face in your hat and, and contact the moon? Yes, I I suppose so. It's uh, it gets less effective the more and more I do it. Um, well, I'm but, gonna turn the other eye, but that is does technically constitute an unregulated portal. <laughs> okay, it does constitute an unregulated That's, portal. I'm you know, not here. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not here. I'm not. I'm not here. No, it's one. I'm you know, not here. You know, Chaz, if if I may, it has been suggested that it's all in my head—a violent hallucination. <laughs> it's true. I don't think that's yeah, what's we've happening. We've never seen but it. He won't show us. He uh, can't look. Do I do I get a sense that real magic has transported him or allowed him to communicate with the moon in another place, or do I get the sense that this is a delusional, <laughs> that this is a fully delusional person? Oh, if you I can, know if, this. in fact, yeah, if you can too, tell huh? us, <laughs> <laughs> um, you can absolutely roll an Arcana check. I'm gonna roll an Arcana check, and I'm gonna bolster that by also casting. I'm gonna use my feature Detect Portal. That's good. Okay. <laughs> now that Arcana check is very low. That's a three, but I'm gonna use Detect Portal. I, you know, and I think the moon boy doesn't, he doesn't quite show it to Chuz, but I think he, w he wants some answers too. So he doesn't entirely pull away as Chuz is kind of eyeballing this hat that he's yeah. ever so careful about. We are not allowed to look in that hat. We've never so looked in it. Privilege. Don't Maybe look in the hat. Um, it does feel like a portal. I don't. I don't know the arcana behind it. I'm gonna look at Moon Boy and go, you know, the guild's got a lot of fancy books and all sorts of people who spend their days looking through astrolabs, giant telescopes, crystals, psionics, mapping every corner of wild space. But let me tell you, as someone who lives out here, gets a feel for the wild space. Yes, tell me, yes. I'm not a learned man and I can't tell you to your face what your truth is, but I do know this. There are stranger things in wild space than any book can account for. And if you know here that you're a moon boy, then that's all I need. Chaz, I would die for you. <laughs> yeah, Kai's eyes are full of tears. Oh, everyone gets a hug. Come on in, everybody in. I'm about it. I'm about it. I, I'm Come passing. on, everybody I cast, in. I cast bless on the hug. Everybody oh, gets guidance. Oh, blessed <laughs> hug. Oh. oh. 
I think we're gonna cut your break right there. We're gonna cut your break with the image of this uh. whole new crew, how, like it, like uh, Chuz like having this conversation with Boom Boy, and them like leaning like leaning down to each other, and then Kai just uh. pulling into the hug, and it just kind of like, oh, carries so much ship. pain and mystery. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Fred and Lee Mulligan, everybody. Thank you so much for being Ooh. here. Um, uh, uh, we're going to cut to break right cool. here, right now. Yeehaw! Um, and we'll be right back here in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you a you wanna, pitch? Yeah. yeah, go for it real quick. Uh, hey, everybody. It's been a real crazy day in the United States. In America. Uh, yeah, not a not not super fun. So uh, we just wanted to do a quick shout out to everybody and 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 say that um, if you want to like help support make make your community better, we really we really uh, recommend that you throw some money towards your local bail group uh, to help help out your own community and um, help fight back against some of these nightmare things that are happening today and. Uh, every other day of the damn year so um, use your dollars in your community there's so many great organizations yeah uh, bail if funds you can, mm -hmm. in your home state or town or in the twin cities yeah, yeah. go and do it uh donate donate um cool thanks for thanks for that um yeah and we'll be we're back gonna do it. Few. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna take five minutes uh, to take a quick break. We're gonna drink. We're gonna pee, and we'll see you in just a second for the rest of drink. this episode. Drink pee. Drink pee, everybody.
He's trying uh, these non-lethal things. All right, we're in. We're here. We're high. I gave the case. What? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. That's, it's happening. We're here. Hello. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, Gift Yankee. We're Joe. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my new cuss word. That does sound like it something sounds, that you It sounds yelled. like a, something you snay, say after a sneeze. Yeah. Yankee. 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 Uh, um, yes, sir, I. Be- All right. Before. <laughs> Sorry. That nice. Got me. I'm glad uh, I can still get Harlan. We still got it. Uh, before we go, thank you everybody for all the uh, new folks hanging out with us tonight. Um, if you want to check out more of the show, a good thing to do is uh, all of our episodes are up on our YouTube channel. Um, and if you're really into it, you can come and play in a game that is inside of this universe and the world uh, through our Patreon. Um, we have a, what we call a Repos and Leads game. We just had one last Sunday. And yeah, so thanks for being here and hanging out with us. Be sure and follow us here. Follow us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter. Get a bunch Twitter, of monitors. Real. And watch yeah. all the episodes at once. Yeah, yes. Wow. All, yeah. That's it's, how it's, it's only like two and a half hours if you yeah if you watch all <laughs> almost fifty episodes at one time. Terrifying. Um, so let's jump back in here. Uh, the scene that you all are in uh, after this is this the ship like before as it the camera zoomed in kind of like looking through the map parsing through this ID. Your ship after actually goes to the same asteroid. Click you are having, you know, these memories of like, oh yeah, this is like the spot as it kind of like crests it. And if, as you're flying by this asteroid, it just looks like a big um, rock as uh, as you're kind of on the outer edge of this planet garden that you come into cresting the gravity of this planet, which still seems to form even though you are, uh, you enter its atmosphere, even though it's not one terrestrial body, it's a bunch of spread out, stra- uh, spread out terrestrial bodies held together by what look like tree roots. You still go from the ship encapsulated in the bubble that is the atmosphere around your spell jamming ship, and you burst through the atmosphere of the planet, and you kind of weave through a lot of these tree roots, kind of like going into the, the jungle of this planet, and you, um, and Brendan, you had a question about graphene, maybe? That, do you want to I touch did. on it here? Is, is this a good, like, as you're switching from atmosphere to planet? I do. I just have a question about, well, now that we're entering a planet, I did have it about other space, but if this, if this encounter is going to happen on a planet, then I just want questions about the gravity in and around this planet. Okay, cool. Um, what is your question? Do you have, like, specific I guess my wants question or needs, is... Or? I, if I had to write it as, as text, it would be gravity semicolon what it do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, a report. Yeah, I think that is, that, that is a fair, uh, I agree. Um, that was my thesis so, at Juggalo University. <laughs> <laughs> um, a, a very fun thing about talking about D&D with me is that your, your tiny little joke question has a long ass answer. So, um, <laughs> Mostly it's that all of these chunks of like asteroid and earth seem to have their own gravity in a similar way that a spell jamming engine, a spell jamming helm uh, creates a gravity plane on the ship that it kind of carries with it unless it interacts with a larger gravity plane. All of these asteroids uh, seem to have this like bubble inside of a bubble that is their own gravity plane. And it kind of acts, it's like a little bit lighter than Earth's. It's more of like moon gravity, but as far as game mechanics, it just, you you operate a bit of the same, but you can kind of push it. There's a moment where you see that you want to kind of expand past what normal jumping or moving can do. You can kind of like push the gravity here. Gotcha, great, 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 awesome. Are you sure you don't want me to talk about it for a longer period of time? Yeah. <laughs> so no? gravity, in, colon, it do slightly less. I yeah. do slightly less. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, reason, the reason I ask is because, well, you know what? We'll find, you'll find out. Gravity. We'll find out later. How, nice. Gravity. How for hippo? How, how for hippo? Good how gravity. for hippo I th- is I gravity? Think in the time that uh, it has taken us to kind of make this small voyage, the moon boy and whomever else has kind of changed into... Uh, d- now, did we have the disguises with us in the bag of holding? Yes, you you all can have disguises on a- right now, absolutely. Yeah, we took okay, their, like, right. punk-looking jackets with the patches yeah. on them and stuff. That's right, but 
were they I'm a gnome. Does that do I need to rubber band it up or something? We have well we have patches if you want to wear your regular shit and just put oh, a patch yes. on it. We have the patches. Oh hell yeah. Uh, the moon boy definitely does that. He puts a hat a, a patch on his hat. Um, right right uh, on the front. Harlan, where did we uh, we encountered a shipwreck, a widower shipwreck that click uh, retrieved the helm from um, what area would that be called in if that if that area if we were to refer to that area by name? Uh, let's just call it um, Sector Six. I'm making that up, but for the conversation that you want to have with uh, <laughs> Chuz here, um, you can refer to it as Sector Six, which is the space between um, uh, between firmer yeah firmer Regna and uh, Glyph. Okay. And what was that creature that looked like an asteroid and tried to lure us in with the fake crops? Oh, jeez. The the murderoid. It was a murderoid. So, yeah, I guess I would pitch to everyone, and just to get our story straight, our ship uh, was ambushed by the murderoid and destroyed, and Chez here uh, picked us up in Sector 6. That's our story. Nice. Right. Uh, I like it. I guess that way it can. Andrew knows my tricks all too well. Yeah. Click has removed uh, her bronze translator, revealing a pair of tiny pink mandibles, um, incapable of physically speaking common. So uh, from now on, she, from now on, she's going to be exclusively speaking psionically. Uh, are are we going to are we going to kind of Chewbacca click or no? Well- let me let me just get this let me get this scene in here real quick. Um, okay. No, because you want me with we can my weapons. Like make okay, this decision correct. How it happens. Good point. Um, so the uh, ship kind of like pulls through this ivy. You can see this city here. Um, it is there's definitely like a dock, which is this like small cove that you can see, and um, where all of the stairs are that you can see on the map uh, as they lead to this one wall, like concrete wall that is 15 feet high. You can't see much past it except for the, the tower that's on the, the north uh, west side of this map. Um, and that is clearly the tower that has been discussed here. And the most notable thing out of all of this, besides this being this kind of like overgrown, like you can see the roots kind of like poking through bits of the asteroid that are in and around. Um, there's like ivy on the walls uh, all over the place that you can see. It's this like rocky cliff situation that goes deeper in where there are more cities. But the most prominent thing here that, uh, that you can see are these huge cranes. Um, there's three of them on each side of the spell jammer, uh, these spell jammer docks that are clearly designed to, they have like big uh, claws on them and they're clearly designed to pick things up off of the spell jammer and maybe even to pick up a spell jammer itself mm. for maintenance and such. And you can see all three of these cranes on the map here. And um, uh, yeah, they, they all seem to, like you can tell one of them in the middle is like kind of like moving a little bit and is being operated by someone. Um, and you all, uh, just pull this ship up to the dock here. You know, it's like the most, you know, normal as you can be here, incognito mode, and you um, dock the ship here and are greeted by a uh, a very old, kind of like scarred uh, human woman who's like, hey, what's up? Who are you? She says, uh, as like, as, as, as like, before she can see anyone, she moves herself out of this guard tower here, and is just like yelling up at the edge there with a, a, a big like crossbow in her in her hand. Um, can would you like me to? I, I suppose I should do it now. As soon as this happens, uh, the moon boy casts bless on the others. Cool, on, yeah. uh, the I'm gonna say the the core the core squad at least. Cool, Sorry, cool. Chaz. Oh yeah, I was gonna give uh, Click Bardic inspiration. Okay. So everybody has guidance. And you know what? Bless. It's spammable. Chuz Well, ble- bless for the other three. Chuz for guidance. <laughs> everybody has that's, guidance. That's the the title of this episode. Spam. Bless for the Spam. other three. Chuz for guidance. Um <laughs> how how tall are those cranes? Uh they're they're 40 feet off of the ground. Ooh. Okay. Um it's like kind of jumpable. <laughs> Um, I'm 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 gonna look at, at the party as they walk off and be like, uh, 
I think this will all work better if I'm your guest, so to speak, come into this secret pirate cove. I'll let you make first impressions with uh, the quartermaster up here, and I'll tie up mm -hmm. the catamaran. And meanwhile, um, I'm going to put a chunky hippo finger to my head, uh, and I'm going to detect portal, uh, which works, which works within one mile of me. Oh boy, Brennan. Uh, uh, before the answer to this could potentially affect the question I was about to ask, so I'll just ask it now. I have a question about disguises. Sure. Um, also, uh, before, sorry, Rachel, I have to correct myself. It's uh, Those cranes are 80 feet off of the ground. Before we get in there, so less jumpable. Yeah, I jumpable. could disguise myself as a widower and be like a cool Hulk Hogan hippo man, <laughs> or. or would it maybe be helpful if I disguised myself as a Gith Yankee? Oh, that you guys incredibly, could work with that. That's incredibly rare. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know anything about Gith Yankee culture? You'd be able to to effectively well, disguise yourself as one. It's a good question. I know. Have, you have met one before. Yeah. I have yeah. met one. I know that they are. <laughs> Warlike. Do you speak their language? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Saying I've met one before and I know they're warlike is the exact <laughs> kind of thing that would make me kind of red flag this whole plan. <laughs> right. So here's the thing: it would sort of be on the more you know charismatic members of the group to sort of spin the whole we're with a Gith Yankee thing. I believe I, think I could you can be do it, one, Kai. and if someone engages me, I could be like ah. Listen, I, I don't really got... talk much, but, but I am warlike, and you can tell from my grisly visage. Listen, I think if I think if somebody's going to start asking questions, if you're a gith, then maybe if you're a gith Yankee, then maybe we should just, you know, why? Right, if someone why tries to talk up? to me, I'll be like, hey, don't, don't you talk to me? I'm gonna, I'm important. just gonna, I'm gonna look at Kai and in like flawless gith, I'm gonna say, do you understand what I'm saying right now? <laughs> he, I'm he really actually good at has languages. A, he does have an ability to um, to do this right back to you. I think so. Yes, um, I do. Oh, well, you can speak any roll. language, Kai. It's the, it's like possible for me to speak any language. <laughs> uh, um, but it, it takes sorry, a, it takes a while, right? Let's. No, not really. I can. I need to make an Arcana check. All right, do it. You decide the DC, and if I do it, then I can communicate with you in GIF. Great, it's 20. All right, that is a 21. Oh! He, say, he says it back to you in flawless GIF. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shrug and say, look, either I've just been really shown up, or you just <laughs> heard the noises I said and with zero <laughs> comprehension parroted them back to me. Either no, way... It's that. <laughs> I extrapolated the arcane resonance of the linguistic prototype of uh, the language that you are speaking and was able to replicate it. I'm in. Well, you are one we're going to need very... I've got to tell you, Brazzy, you're one very impressive robot, <laughs> and I really mean that. <laughs> Thank you. Brazzy. <laughs> I hope these names stick for it's the rest for, of the... It's short for oh, yeah. oh, I think oh, it's Windy for sure. Yeah, Moon, Bo <laughs> Moon Boy's going to be using stays. these for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will. I guess I'll point out to to my crewmates, there aren't normally any Gith Yankee in the Widowers, right? As far as Maybe I would know. Maybe as far know. as you know. In the no. um, well, listen, the, the woman we, overboard is like, uh, yeah, this hello, lady's excuse seen us. me, Jesus <laughs> we need Christ. To I thought we kind of had like retconned. That was, like, I know, Andrew, obviously. but it's 940. That's all right, but let's <laughs> do it. It's 940. I'm, I'm going to cast Disguise Self, and I'm going to be a Gith Yankee. My man. Okay, great. Uh, he, looks, he looks like uh, if uh, Hulk Hogan was a Gith Yankee pirate. He's got <laughs> bangles and a mustache. I'll, uh, scimitars, I'll hop. <laughs> and he is warlike. I'll hop off the ship as it's not even quite docked yet and walk up to this woman, uh, uh, dressed as, uh, as widowery as I know, uh, how, and I'll be like, uh, Windrider, Widower Nebula Blitzkrieg Division. <laughs> we just stopped to, stopped here to resupply. Yeah. You came here to resupply. What do you think? Who do you think you are, King? 
Jesus Christ. You better have something valuable if you're going to just be waltzing up in here and taking up space. We don't have duck space for you. <laughs> well, you better, you better have something good to drink. Yeah, all right. Uh, can you roll a deception check for me? Yes. With guidance. Yes, they are. Sorry. Oh, Case just asked guidance. me if the docks, all the docks were empty, and I said yes, they are. That was that was going joke to be my next mine. question. She was being rude. I got a dirty twenty. Ooh. I got a Ooh. natural twenty, so I got twenty-two. <laughs> oh, no, ah! not, not forcing this just because it's nine forty. That's not why. But <sighs> she looks at you, and uh, she goes, she yells out, "Shark beef." Um. And, which is the phrase shark beef, in, in case you could not tell uh, from her grizzly voice. And you see, and if, uh, Case, if you could go ahead and throw up the pirate art here, you see kind of like uh, from it's the old. mist of some of this area, uh, you see this wizened gith pirate uh, go, oh. I swear, if you called me down here for another scum sucker... And he's like, it just better be important. And he, um, I've started adopting your accent too, and I can't help it. I'm trying not to so hard. <laughs> he's like, if you, if this isn't important, I'm gonna be pissed. And he walks down this way and um, is, I'm gonna put him kind of like uh, down here. And I wanna know, uh, Brennan, is Chuz out and about here? Is he, is he, Behind the heroes, tying the Ophelia Marie to the dock. Um, tying the Ophelia Marie to the dock. I know that my cover story is that these are widowers that I rescued after their ship got totaled. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm not, I'm, I'm just being unassuming. I'm just like tying the ship up and I, I, I don't ever roll. I think Chuz knows that he's not the guy who can roll in with a cover story. He's just got to play it straight. Um, so, but I'm, but I'm probably not even focused on what's going on because I'm trying to do detect portal as I'm tying the ship up. Okay, cool. So then let me, let me give you your response to detect portal here. Um, so it takes a, like a minute or so and you, you kind of like get this here now and you just get it immediately, right? From the description. I believe. Yes. Uh, distance and direction. Distance and direction. Okay, cool. Um, then I'm just gonna measure it out on the map here because it's right here, right there. But boom, oh. it oh. is, Where is it? 150 Ooh, oh. feet from you. If you look at uh, the wow, it is right in the middle of that tower. I knew um, it. Yeah, distance and direction. Not to be Neil deGrasse Tyson, but distance and direction is a very funny way of just saying location. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, well, hey, it could hey. be down. It could be up. You know, it's got to be got to be D and D confusing at least. Yeah. Sky portals. Um, yeah. Cool. So I so I know we're going for that tower. Um, awesome. Good. Clocked. Great. Uh, can you also do a, a perception check for me, real quick? I sure can. Well, should, should I do this in the in the roll twenty so that everyone can see the roll? Uh, you sure can. We roll yeah. real dice around it, here. It, it, it. I'll, <laughs> no. I'll roll. Hey, baby, I'll it, roll some real, some real if dice. If you've some got real dice, it kind of, um, you know, it, it won't quite show up uh, exactly on there. It could just roll off screen as we've cropped it a little bit. So copy that. Um, okay. So yeah. we want, we want a perception check, correct? Yeah. Yep. D twenty plus your perception. I yeah, uh, I roll digital dice. Mm -hmm. Well, um, <laughs> uh, let, and let me let me pull D and D Beyond. Cool, perception. Making sure that I don't have any little sneaky sneak bullshit that I can do. Um, cool. Okay, here we go. You do have you do have guidance. <gasps> uh, awesome. Uh, that's a seventeen naked. So I think I'm gonna hold on to my guy because I can I hold on to guidance or should I use it right away? It I think away. it only works on your next on check. Your next cool. Roll. Yeah. So cool. Use it In now. that case, let's turn that seventeen into a dirty oh. twenty. Yeah. yeah. Turn yeah. that seventeen upside down. What? <laughs> Um, <laughs> got 71. Actually, That's a good roll, baby. <laughs> yeah. Turn that this is an, crown uh, into clowns. Um, Turn that crown. 
<gasps> you, you can't you can't hold on to guidance for oh god you don't, it doesn't have to be on your next roll so you do not have to add it to that and you can hold on to it for one more time but with the 17 you um kind of like oh you can hold on to it yeah you can hold on to it you come up from casting the this spell here to like know where the portal is you're looked up you look up and you're locked onto it and you turn and you see this pirate boy um right here who you would know uh as shark beef the pirate um, this gift Yankee, who is a part of uh, the, you know, your nemesis from back in the day. These, oh God. This group that did refer to themselves as the Bones of Fate. And you don't see any other gift Yankee around. You do see, um, just from see where one. you're standing, five other, uh, you know, different kind of like pirate Oh, this is folks. the dude. But this dude standing right here who came over um, is a pirate-hatted, Gith- wizened Gith Yankee who has a spear for one hand and a sword in the other, kind of like walking over in this like throwing a fit about being called over. And um, yeah, so you would recognize him as a member of this this crew that you kind of messed with um, back in the day. And you not you you saw him die, so you're not quite sure what he's doing here or how or why. Um, and. He he uh, he comes over to you, and I've just thrown your tokens kind of like on the boat here. So feel free to be a little liberal with um, where exactly they are placed, except for you, flute, who is um, like off of the ship talking to this. The green token is the wizened woman. Um, um, Moonboy is right with flute. He's he's kind of terrified, so he's staying very close to Wind Rider. Okay, cool. Can I clock that she didn't believe me? Yeah, absolutely. Which is why I mean she that's why she called in, you know, okay, her okay. manager basically. Yeah. <laughs> her manager. Yeah. I'll be like What's what's the problem, man? We lost we lost our ship. Um, yeah. Uh hey, as I'm as I'm on a knee tying up the ship and I see shark beef and I see this motherfucker that should be dead, uh <laughs> that you know that's gonna be a hunter's mark. Easy breezy like on my knee, just bloop. Bam. Neasy yep. breezy. Oh, nice. Neasy breezy, <laughs> like they say. hunter's mark. I love it. Yeah. Um, great. And uh, it's a moon boy uh, yeah. flute out there. You you throw that out there, Wind Rider, and you say, like, what's the problem? Uh, this gift looks at you and he goes, I do not appreciate people rolling up into our harbor without any gifts from me. Um, Do you have any find. gifts? We've got yeah, a weird we find hat, hat rack or something. I don't remember that. <laughs> Didn't we have like what a we magic have? hat rack? <laughs> yeah, we got a magic have a hat, hat rack. rack. I do oh, have yeah, a hat. Give, him, give him the hat rack. Give him yes, the hat of course. Right. I've got, I've got, Kai is disguises a uh, Gith Yankee when they somebody says give him the hat rack. He, yeah. he hisses, absolutely not. <laughs> 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 What do you need? Is it, is it told? Get a idea? So what's that? You, what's it gold? Listen, I'll listen, step well, out as a... I guess I'm not expecting to see another gith pirate. I'm expecting to be the only gith around. But I'll oh, step yeah. onto the dock as my Good. Hulk Hogan <laughs> gith. I have 68 um, gold on me. I'll pull out a handful of it and see if this gift is interested in any of it. Uh, yeah, roll a persuasion check with disadvantage. Mm. Well, uh, that would be a uh, critical fail. Oh, um, oh no! <laughs> uh, he whistles and looks up and he goes, smash the ship and uh, uh, I would love all of you all to roll initiative. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! That's all it takes. Uh, with that, too, when he says that to you, you see that middle crane just start moving away from you, and it's moving away from you because it's uh, the claw closes up into a, ba- a bald fist and is going to swing back toward your ship. Um, Boy, just. what a one. <laughs> um, Holy shit. Yeah, what a reaction what, to being our, offered gold. Hey, oh, gosh, hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, what, our money's no good crank. here? Frank. No, I mean, there's... Moonboy is kidding. frantic. Moonboy is frantically pointing to the patch on his hat, going, We know her! We know her! I, I ne- I is there any chance to... he would react to seeing another gif? 
Um, it, if would... anything, it's going to make him more suspicious okay. uh, because uh, he okay. was al- he, he rolled in kind of like already suspicious of this uh, being called in, and he's yeah. Go for it. What, what you, uh, that's an eighteen initiative from me. Okay, cool. All I got right. a twelve. Nineteen for Kai. All right, Eight. hold on, hold on. Uh, numbers are bouncing off my brain. Hold on. Sorry. Um, say it again. Eighteen. Okay, 18. Cool. Kai, what'd you get? 19. 19. Click. Six. Cool. Flute. 12. Moon Boy. Eight. All right. And then, uh, Aaron, are you cool to run Talon still? Yes. Can you send her to me again? Yeah, absolutely. You want to roll uh, her initiative real quick? If I'm running Talon... Talon has... It's a little late for this. However... Go for it. Talon has an ability that cancels out disadvantage on a roll. Sure. Um, do you know what the other thing you rolled was here, Andrew? I didn't even bother to roll twice because I had disadvantage. Uh, Wait, oh, do we all have so disadvantage? No, no I had dis- disadvantage check. on the persuasion roll. Uh, okay. okay, my second roll would have been a nine, which I imagine would also have failed. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I think it, this is the critical. I think I'm gonna keep it. I know I'm kind of being unfair here, um, but in this kind of like middle gray zone, I think that it, it was you were already entering a hard situation. Ah, you right, um, you're right. And he's so although he, he we stall, not, Brendan he, he has to come back next week. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a. <laughs> um, so he he also just like kind of does not give a shit about you all and is more worried about you all being a problem than actually taking any money from you. Um, so we're gonna keep it rolling here. Cool. Um, Ready. So this is gonna be uh, Aaron. Uh, it's in the Discord. I, I found Discord. it. Okay, I got cool, it. Cool, cool. Um, great. So. Can you can you roll for initiative for Talon real quick? And you want to add Besner in here too? Yes. Talon got an 18. Alrighty. Besner got a 13. Okay, great. All right. So first up in this fight um, is going to be Kai. You get the first move out of here. Oh well. Um, <laughs> 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 I guess uh, Kai is going to be like, well, we tried, and is going to shoot this guy in the face. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. We are ignoring Laloon, huh? I'm not nec- I'm not going to deal yeah. with death blow, but I yes, feel like this guy can take more than one shot in the face. You're <laughs> Shoot that shot. Um, go for it here. Yeah, as he, like he's clearly like signaling for, and it just says it out loud, like crush the ship, and is like starting to walk away. So you can take that shot for sure. In the back. Like, I don't think so, Mister. <laughs> and um, I'm actually going to uh, move, run up to him and punch him with my thunder gauntlet to try to oh, distract him. I love it. I um, love it. This big robot boy just. And running up yeah. here to punch. I'm just Go going to it. haul off and punch him right in the face for a 27 to hit. Oh boy, absolutely hits. Go for it. Oh, my dice. That is 13 points of thunder damage. Oh boy. Right, right in the face. Um, he was walking away. <laughs> right in, in the, the back, of, back of the, the face. face. Right in the side of the face. <laughs> um, yeah, from I mean, from this moment, uh, the this this pirate's walking away, and you can just come up uh, and just sucker punch him right in the side of the head here, um, and get that that thirteen damage in. As you just hear like a crack, and he's like, he's ah! disadvantage on attacks against anyone except for me. Ooh. Ooh. And then I'm going to the other lady who is standing next to him. I'm going to punch her in the face. Wow. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is very unkai like. Oh my. I mean, goodness. he said this smash the ship. Gone to your head. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Just, no, they uh, they pulled the he trigger. He said smash the ship. I'm just. And, bra, bra. and then we rolled for initiative. Listen, I hear the music. It's... I'm going to dance. Um, <laughs> that is an. an a 17. 
All right. It's like, cool. if you crit on this old lady at the dock, I swear <laughs> to God. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you absolute, just abs- smash a hole in Doc Lady. <laughs> Absolutely hits. Okay. Oh, um, no. And I would say, if, if this is something, you would, because of what you said, you are trying to, like, knock her out rather than, like... Yeah, I'm not trying right to kill here. anybody. Okay, cool. Um, and, oh, well, I should have already done that. Whatever. What is it? I was going to ask to use my bonus action to cast Arcane Weapon, but I should have done it already if I wanted the extra damage. So that is 10 damage, 10 thunder damage to- You just down her immediately with this- Oh, she just I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. She just like slumps over and falls on this cart that is very beautifully drawn by Joshua Smith right there I think, um, next to you. I think, you know, right. we, we wanted this to happen, but in this moment, I think Moonboy goes, Kai! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. You kill her? You no. punched that old lady really hard. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to call over at Moonboy and be like, she knew the job was dangerous when she took it. Click, click. Uh, <laughs> All right. I, I'm back in. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, who is kidding. orange, orange dot at the end of the dock here, Harlan? This fella. Uh, that is a, another uh, visible guard. This is kind of like this strapping young orc uh, that okay. is right there, kind of like in this same general pirate garb. Great. Uh, he has two so like, I, yeah, fang kind of, earrings. Yeah, and nice. I sort of get between the shock, shock beef and the Ooh. mainland. Which is an incredible pirate name, by the way. Uh-huh. Thank you. Amazing. And I'll just be like... Uh, Last chance to think again, shark beef. <laughs> uh, just punch uh, an old lady in the face and then shit talk to a pirate. I, Who yeah, are you sucker you? punched this dude in the back of the head and then knocked out an old woman. <laughs> right, Last right chance. Honestly, him. if yeah. ever there was a chance for this kind of thing to work, you did yeah. just kind of <laughs> belt his granny into the into the abyss. Uh <laughs> He looks stoked as fuck, and he's like, <laughs> this is going to be good. Um, and he's just like spits a little bit on the ground. Um, and I didn't now... roll the natural one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's now Chuzz. Harlan did that. <clears throat> um, Harlan, first things first, I want to look and see the middle crane that moved under his command. Do I see a mechanism that is moving it, or even better, someone piloting it? Do I see, like, where is that movement originating from? Uh, roll a perception check real quick. It's not costing your action. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Come on, buddy. Um, I, I am going to use have, my guidance there's here. There's your guidance. Use it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. With that, that's a 9-3. Uh, um... 17 on the perception check. That'll do it. That's what you needed. Um, you needed over a 15, and you were going to see right here that there is a uh, very buff gnome in a large pirate hat um, who is operating the crane from this kind of like... Goliath, then? Saddle over. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, he's, a, he's a dwarf. <laughs> uh, and sorry, Captain? there is there is a... You're saying that there's a gnome... Um, uh, there is a gnome who is at the base of the crane piloting it. He, he's at, no, he's at the top. He's 80 feet up in the air. Um, gotcha. But uh, I, do, I refuse to do trigonometry in this game, so he is um, 90 feet from you right now. Oh, sorry. So, the t- so I see that the large structure that that little pink dot is on. That yes, is exactly. the gnome. And is that the t- is that the top of the crane, or is that like yes. the structured base of the crane? No, no, it is it is up there in the air. And then, so does that mean the thing kind of in the gray middle of the harbor, that's the base of the crane? Um, no, uh, base of crane is here. The kind of, this is like the end kind of like thing, but it's, you know, it's the person in the cockpit with this big long thing and they're, they're sitting over here and moving the crane and the, the big wrecking ball that is like gotcha. kind of is being swung on the end. It's so the thing, the, thing, the thing hanging in space is the top of the crane arm. Yes, yes. Gotcha, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Gotcha, 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 cool. Um, amazing. Uh, well, I'm gonna look at uh, Shark Beef. Uh, I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna like, I'm, cause I think I'm still on the deck. I'm gonna put one leg up on the gunnel to rest my other hand and sort of like, so I cock a leg up 
and I'll go, Shark bait! <laughs> um, uh, and I say, I have a gift for you, and I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> um, <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> um, I'm going to shoot this dude. Um, uh, and let's go ahead and roll an attack. After a line like that, I better hit, or it's going to be <laughs> very sad. Be um, awesome. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, number one is going to come up as a... Uh, that's an 18 to hit. That does hit. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead. I'm going to do sh uh, shot number two uh, at, at uh, Sharky over here. All right. Go for it. Uh, that's going to be a 16 to hit. Also hits. Ooh. Cool. Cool. cool armor, not great armor. Um, yeah so yeah with this you just see his like like fear just like flash in his eyes for a moment and kai you can see it too as you're just like standing right there he's like but oh god and then before he can even say anything cool he just gets shot twice he's just like, <laughs> he's like oh. um with in both of these shots uh incredible um oh i realize i have an ability that i should be using more but that's okay um uh, amazing. Um, let's go ahead and do this damage. This is going to be... Uh, oh, 12, 12. Uh, that's 26 points of damage oh, to, yeah. to Sharky. All right, yeah, you just pop, pop two big old holes in his, like, shoulder here as, like, he's, like, wounded and, like, there's just, like, green blood is coming out of him, like, quickly and fast. And he's like, oh, gosh! Yeah. He's, like, yelling, like, everybody, wake up! God damn it, we're being invaded! Wake up! And he's, like, clanging oh, his uh, spike arm against his sword, like, trying to make noise. Exactly um, the plan. And, <laughs> uh, and then, uh, would you like to do anything else? Um, uh, yeah, I do want to do something else. Um, uh, what I want to do is, um, sorry, uh, oh, there's, okay. uh, there's a bunch of, st uh, yeah, actually, as a bonus action, um, because I'm just hitting this dude hard right now, I'm going to Planar Warrior turn, uh, uh, one of those hits into force damage and throw another d8 of damage on there oh yeah hell yeah cool uh, get that in there as you are kind of like have these little bit of psionic abilities that are giving these these shots a burst here um and let's go ahead and throw another six damage on there oh boy yes, <laughs> yes. one of those bullets just goes a little bit deeper into his shoulder <laughs> you know um Woo. Great. Uh, <laughs> after your turn, um, he is going to use a legendary action to uh, rec uh, yell "aim" um, as he's like clanging his arms together, and uh, the with that, all of these folks who are out on the board here, these kind of piratey folks, are going to move themselves to have. Uh, vision on you all. So they all have the ability to see you now from where they are standing. Um, and that's it. Uh, it's now Talon's turn, and uh, Vesner will be the next person, uh, player character after that to go, and Flute will be after that. Vesner is uh, Aaron's character's familiar. Vesner's, sorry, right now? I was looking at Talon's no, character. No, no, it's Talon. No. Um, Talon! Yeah. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to do some measuring. Oh, good. Yes, we have this nice, big, beautiful map from Joshua Smith. I'm going to uh, pop a little thing in our chat right here, which is our art is done by the character art you've been seeing is our wonderful Jordan Dahl does all the character art. The talent art's up on screen right here. And Joshua Smith, who's every map of story, does our maps custom for us. They're amazing. Um, so yeah, this one's particularly sweet. It blew me away when I got this. I, it just I have, cranks these out like, a, like they're nothing. Yeah. yeah. Like we have these all the time. Every week. Incredible. Every week we get a cool map. Spoiled we are. All right. We're going to change the battlefield a little bit. Uh, Talon's right, going to come up here next to um, Kai and uh, Shock Beef. And she's going to cast Thunderstep. Oh boy. Um, she, oh, she can only teleport one willing creature. 
Mm. Shit. All right, we're not going to change the battlefield as much as we thought. She's going to... <laughs> Shark Beef needs to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Shark Beef got a... And I'm going to roll damage. Six. Ooh. He fails. <laughs> nice. Shark Beef takes 21 thunder damage. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. And Talon... Mm -hmm. Non-lethal thunder damage. Non-lethal thunder damage. And Talon... <laughs> is going to teleport up onto this crane and she can make it right next to this gnome. No way, she can get that far? She with can get step? 90 feet, she can get Woo! right there. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Amazing, amazing. You can get right next to him. Truly amazing. As and then it is but a matter of shoving. <laughs> Um, but I want to say, just to, I, I know, Aaron, you're mechanically running talent here, and that's a great decision. I'm happy you did it. Right before, she's like, um, hey, Chess, uh, check this out. And uh, she kind of, like, gets your attention just in this moment, and she sends this lightning toward uh, Shark Beef. Um, it hits him, and then she's just, whoom, and she's just like, what's up? And is saying hey to you now from the top of this crane. And, and is she, she's with the, with, with the gnome piloting the crane that's coming yeah. towards me. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tip my hat and say, darling, care to give a, <laughs> care to give a ranger a little lift up to the top. And I'm going to point at the tower, uh, at the top of the hill. And uh, with her, <laughs> with her, uh, she, she almost took you with her. Oh man! But, no, this is this is better. This is, now he's is better. Now yeah. Chess is swashbuckling in. <laughs> she gave you a chance to swash that buckle. We got to swash. She has swashed so that you might buckle. Absolutely. All right, Talon. Does she have any bonus actions? Sorry. No. Let's just call it. So, um, let's call it there. She's done. Her turn <laughs> let's is over. Call it. She's done enough. Um. So it's now we're gonna move over to. Um, I will give her a, a just a quick, tiny little perception check if you could make it for her here. And she rolled a seventeen on the dice. Ooh. Does she have percep plus zero seventeen? Um, that's going to be good enough for her to see a um, Vinia, this um, heritage of folks that come from Firma Regna. Uh, previously, they are beings made completely of vines their whole body is like uh, made of vines uh, it's a homebrew thing that we made up that if you join our patreon you can get or our discord you can get as well but um it is this being and you've never and she's never seen one like this before as it is completely blue um all over all of the vines on its body are blue and it is the only humanoid standing on top of this tower and it just is like watching her it's wearing this like cloak um, and it's just like watching her up on this tower right there. Um, and That's it is now scary. Bessner, your familiars. Bessner is going to bedevil Shark Beef and take the help action by pecking him about the eyes and the face. Amazing. Um, and his turn is complete. And that's going to be bring up Flute. Great. Uh, I'm going to run over uh, to Chez. I'm, I'm going to say, I don't have quite as make a crush on you as Talon does, but I can give you that ride. <laughs> Is that so? Listen, everyone's <laughs> welcome to have a crush if it gets me to that portal, mate. Let's take a little ride. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, put my arm around uh, Chez's waist, and then I uh, put my fingers out of the air and, like, twist them, and uh, I cast Dimension Door, and we will oh. both teleport onto the top of that tower. Ooh, baby! I don't want to play Talon too much here, but she's furious. <laughs> <laughs> she's fucking heartbroken. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, as we, like, Dimension Door, I'm like, man, that's what I like to call a completely perfect unregulated portal mate that was just <laughs> lovely. lovely we love to see it um awesome 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 uh, hey, is that is a new this... spell for you that's awesome what's that I, is that a new spell for you i don't think we've seen i took it yeah yet. at level eight okay cool. um is this once i awesome. uh pop up here in the go. tower is this vinia holding any weapons or anything no 
Okay. And I aimed to teleport behind her, so hopefully she didn't even see that we popped in behind her. Um, okay, cool. I'm going to throw Ch uh, Chez up here. Uh, you can't tell. It is not turned around. You can't tell if it's seen you or not. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. Great. Um, that's going to bring up Click. Ooh. Me? Uh, Click is going to leap. We're going to take a, a flying crane leap from uh, the edge of this boat to where this this orange fella is. Great, We're gonna absolutely. Jump. Just and your big old mantis legs. Whoo, yeah, she, it's yeah. just gonna be like step, step on the boat, jump 30 feet, and we're, as we connect with the dock, she's gonna come down with a flat edge of her Githka on this uh, pirate. That dork pirate right there? Yeah, that absolutely. dork pirate, yes, yeah. indeed. That is a dirty 20 to hit. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is um, this like young scraggly dude. He's like, oh gosh. And um, when you uh, <laughs> come over and uh, with that hit, you just bonk him on the head and he's just like, gosh. And he just falls over and is unconscious. Um, oh, good. Well, yeah. that was easy. Uh, uh, so she has. Okay, so. If I use if I use the main action to attack with my Githka, can I use a bonus to attack with? The chakra. Um, your, your throwing blade. Uh, Wait, I so I've gotten so I my movement may not be complete here. I do have a forty foot movement, so I jumped. Yeah, you can get right to him because you can jump there and then you 30. go five ten. Can I get to this pink guy? Yes. Yeah, you can go because you can go five. Okay. Oops, sorry. Yeah, five I think five ten right there. Yeah. Okay. It has a, it has a um, little bit of cover because of the boxes right there, but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll take another chat, chat. Cool. Oh no, uh, Githka, Githka sh 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 swat at it. So just through the boxes, she's not even just all the way yeah. through with the hook. Yeah. Uh, and that is a nineteen to hit. Nineteen hits, and I'm not. You don't even need to roll damage here, as um. These seem to be just like flimsier minions here that are, uh, yeah. you know. She's trying mostly to just trying to bat them into the water. Like it's just get don't oh, it's, none of it's this aim air. business. It's not water. Sure. It's open air. Well, not into them. open air then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. knock them out, the little idiots. Um, <laughs> yeah, Amazing. absolutely. So you just knock the hell out of. Um, uh, this it, it's also like another kind of like burly or teenager, uh, but like like teenager dwarf who has like a full beard. So he's like, oh, but you and you just boom and, and knock him out here to like just smacking him on the head, and he's down there. And you, yeah, do you want to do anything else with your turn? Uh, that's all I got. Okay, cool. Um, you hear uh, Shark Beef go, let the god fire, then just fire. And um, he's going to use his other legendary reaction for this round to get all of the conscious folks um, who are on the board to shoot at you, Click. Um, mm -hmm. And so there is going to be only two right now because uh, you knocked out three of the minions. Um, two. Two shots against you. So that's going to be two. I just rolled two uh, 11s. Uh, all that together. So both, of those, so both of these, whoo, these arrows just go flying past and do not affect you at all. Um, as uh, you have skirted around disaster here. Um, it is going to bring up uh, the crane, though, um, as I have uh, done some numbering incorrectly, but it's the, the crane is going to still controlled by this gnome um is going to take a swing at your ship here chuz and gotcha. i had the uh dice laid out for this so i'm just gonna roll them real quick uh 15 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. it's gonna be um uh uh, is 56 points of damage to your ship as it's doubled because oh it's a, oh. um, a wrecking ball doing the damage to a, a physical item. It's a siege weapon. Um, but oh. 
your ship has 200 hit points. Oh, so, um, my God. You wanna go, <laughs> anywhere that you can write down um, uh, 146. It's, uh, or, yeah, 146. That's how many hit points your ship has left. It does crunch a sizable chunk out of it that is going to be a, a big dent to fix for you. I'm feeling so good right now. I'm, I, I've, like, gotten pretty... F- f- like firm confirmation that one of the members of this crew has a crush on me and a good new buddy <laughs> just cast a dope spell and we got to have a fun moment together. And I think as, as we appear on the top of that tower and cause I don't think from where we're placed, we could see that happening, but just hearing the crunch of wood and metal, <laughs> I just go from like, you're all yes. right, Wendy to <laughs> God, no, like, <laughs> Oh God, that sounded so bad. That could have been anything. There's a lot of barrels and stuff. Probably, probably like anybody knows barrels. <laughs> God, I hope that was barrels, mate. I hope that was so many barrels. That sounds probably so specifically like my shit. A lot of barrels. It's just you, barrels. You hear Moon Boy from the dock. Yep, it was the bird. <laughs> oh no! It was, it was bad. It looks like you were growing orchids or something. They're all gone. Oh god, the greenhouse! Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right. Uh, it is gonna bring up Moon Boy here. Great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I swapped. Um, I actually swapped Click and Moon Boy, but for just for this round, we're gonna go keep going with it. And I'll switch. I was curious time. about that. Yeah. No yeah. worries. I was like, uh, I rolled. Really bad. Yeah, I, just, um, I put you in the opposite places. The Moon Boy is going to, uh, uh, somewhat more controlled than usual, he kind of closes his eyes and allows the moon fire to take him and fill him with constellations. And I will be entering my, uh, my starry form with the, uh, the archer, um, constellation right now, which is. Circle of Stars Druid stuff, which is what yeah. Moon Boy's class is, technically, for anybody wondering. Um, and I am going to fly over to where... Hmm, hmm, no, I'm not. I am going to place <laughs> myself directly in front of this captain. Okay. Uh, and I am going to cast Gust of Wind on him. Oh, boy. Um, all right, go for it. So, I would like for my man to... I was really hoping to get more than one guy with this, but what can you do, huh? That doesn't affect me, does it? No, no, no. It just It's straight on. It's a line extending from me. I'm just trying to find the exact... Yeah, it's a straight line. Spell, Carly it's a... Along it? a line of strong wind, 60 feet long and 10 feet wide, blast from you in a direction you choose for the spell's duration. Each creature that starts its turn on the line must succeed on a strength saving throw. So next time that guy makes a starts his turn, I need him to make a strength saving throw. Doesn't that happen? It doesn't happen now. It says each creature that starts its turn in the line. Got it. Yeah. Must succeed so, um, on a strength saving throw. I love this because you like you change into this like lunar, like moon fire form and step over here and are just <sighs> at him. And this is the wind blast. He's like trying to hold on here. He's like, oh, 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 oh. moon fire oh. licking at his pirate hat. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, and mo- like- you know what? I'm going to even, let's retcon a little flavor. Moon boy holds up one hand and in a thousand voices says, I'm sorry. <laughs> and horrible moon fire extends from him. The, the, a solar wind, if you will, but in a moon way, a lunar wind. Okay, okay, cool. I, a lunar wind. I love that so, so much. Um, it's like a euphemism for farting. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is the end of my turn. <laughs> okay. Um, awesome. Awesome. I love it so much. Uh, so, in, so you do your moon fart, and... Um, God damn it. <laughs> uh, like... <laughs> The, the pirate's, uh, you know, beef shark's hat just, like, flies off of the top here. And he's, he, but he sticks his, um, his, like, metal spiked arm down to the ground. He's trying to hold on here. And um, it's actually going to be specifically his turn. So we'll find okay. out right now if shark beef makes it. I think I've called him beef shark, like, twice. and I <laughs> it. just, Captain beef shark. Yeah. Um, Captain beef shark. <laughs> 
That's going to be a 15. You got to be a 15. No, oh, I, I rolled a 15 on the dice, and he has a modifier. Okay. So unf uh, well, unfortunately, I also have a modifier, and the Moon Boy is going to use his uh, Moon Boy uh, bad luck for the day for this guy. I would like you to roll a d6 oh, and subtract it from that. And you tell me um, if it's still above a 15. Okay, cool. Uh, let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just triple check here. I gotta. I wrote down his modifier. I have it, but I want to be a hundred percent sure because this is a big, a big, big roll. Um, it's. This is a. Yeah. This is a. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. So it's a. Wait. Is is it harder now, or do I have to roll with disadvantage? You just roll a d6 and subtract it you from what you just rolled. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, this, is cool. Cosmi this is Cosmic Omen, right, right. by the way. Okay, yeah. Oh, boy. Um, he's still up. It, it, was, ah! it was an 18 on the dice, and I just rolled a 2. Ah! Uh, a 16. So it's still Brutal. up Damn here. Damn dice. Brutal. Damn ah! dice. It's um, fine. Live by the dice, die by the dice. Live by the dice, and die by the dice. I get he's it. Just like, he's just like, I was born on these docks. Not this dock specifically, <laughs> but I was born on a dock, and you're not going to blow me off one. Um, and he sure. is going to um, use his action to... Uh, also, Dimension Door. <gasps> um, Uh-oh. Right up here next to you all. Ugh. And he's going to move bad. 10 feet. Um, and he is going to use one... He's going. He gets one single weapon attack here. Disadvantage. He's going to attack Disadvantage, you. that is true. Why? Because, because he's not attacking Kai. Attacking got anyone, by anyone but... I don't know if that affects what he wants to do, but he's, like, distracted by me is the... He's got the rage. The, is, is the wording on the... No, I, I love ability. he... He dealt, he looked back he just got sucker punched by you, so in this attack he just kinda of like looks back and checks real quick. That son of a um, bitch. He's still back there. And he's going to uh, with the disadvantage only roll a fourteen to hit you flute. Does that hit? No miss. Oh boy. Yay! So he just shows up and his his blade just slashes down. Yeah, nothing, you. bruh. And he, he looks up and so, God damn it. And uh, he does still have his bonus action, which he's going to cry out. He's like, "Somebody get out here and help!" <laughs> and um, one more uh, pirate is going to come out of a a building up here, and is just going to add to this minion pile that is here. Hush. Um, and so he's going to he? step out, like right there, uh, up here at the top. Here, he's just going to step out of a Did building. Did I take out this one? This uh, the one over on the boxes. That pink one? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Thank um, you. you did. I will get it out of the way here. These um, croaks. And so, great. That's going to be his turn. That's going to be the the first round of combat here. Um, and let's uh, let's keep on let's keep on rolling. Kai, it's your turn. Woo! All right. Kai is going to use his bonus action to turn into light and reappear across this chasm. Damn. Everybody, how'd you, how'd you all get teleport. this Teleport. How'd you all get this movement? <laughs> Everybody out ass. here be teleporting, baby. It's spell jammer. Everyone yeah, got portals. Everyone ass. got crystals. Everyone got all I kinds use, of stuff. I, I use I'm my I'm artifice. jumping my way there. Everybody's teleporting to the tower. Don't worry, guys. I use my artifice <laughs> to do it. I use my nano displacement projector. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to move my speed. Mice speed? No, mice me. speed, <laughs> Andrew. Yes. Engage mice police. <laughs> okay. Oh and I can get just to the top of these stairs. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you just turn into this, like, golden cloud almost as you just, like, displace yourself and you're... And you uh, move yourself all over there and you just... Can I see a... the Cap Captain Shark Beef? Um, let's see. You're through the archway here. You can't because, uh, like, that tower is another 15 feet up. So um, you right. did have a better angle at it, but from right under it, you can't. I'm going to turn well, towards the saw, crane. He saw us up on top of there, right? 
Yeah, but that was from that yeah. back <laughs> angle. This is kind of like under it. I'm just. I'm just Could I see yeah. him from Don't make from that from that angle? No. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn up towards the guy who is piloting the crane, and I'm going to shoot him with my arcane obliterator and non-lethally obliterate him. <laughs> um, give me, give me how you're doing that, and you can do it. You just got to give me the flavor of it. You're gonna obliterate this guy. I'm just going to like obliterate his chair so that he just falls <laughs> off the side. Sure. Okay. Cool. All right. Knocking uh, him off the side. If I can't do that, that's fine. No, no shoot that shot. I'm gonna bump. I'm gonna bump up the AC here, but uh, but just up to 15. So I don't care it. about him or his life. Uh, here we go. <laughs> that is a 25 to hit. Yeah! Okay. You hit that chair. That'll do it. Chair obliterated. Hilarious distance prank. <laughs> the, cha- the chair, him, whatever, whoever takes damage is going to take 16 points of damage. Okay, cool. So with this, you just kind of like cripple a bit of the... Um, the cockpit of this crane where it hits the metal here and it just kind of like wraps itself around him and you just hear him like and it just kind of like uh, like again like knocks him on the head and it makes the crane a little bit harder to operate because a piece of it has just been smashed in but um, you did it you've knocked this this gnome boy yeah the crane is now out of uh, poor Talon (laughs) Can't get um, anything done. I'm gonna, I have another attack. I was like, I have another attack. Did, did you, did you get, get the guy with the crane? Yes. <laughs> oh, good on you, yes, Brazzy. Ship You're safe. a real mate. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. And I'm going to blast one of the other minions. Okay, cool. Yes. Um, before you do, um, you just hear Talon go, Kai, could you? Oh, never mind. Uh, like, yeah, but go for it. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, Poor I baby. just, I wanted to. Do, do be cool. Keep just be, keep being cool. She's You're like, doing great. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I shoot one of the other minions, and I got a 16 to hit. All right. Um, that absolutely hits. You're just you're just zonking. You guys have not rolled under like 13 all night. It's well, all he night. resisted that one spell, but he did. Yeah, that's true. That 12 really points count. of damage. Um. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You just bonk this other minion as well. Um, which I will say, uh, you all have are making a lot of noise here, so I, I promise <laughs> that there will be more minions for you to bonk. Um, with that being said, you absolutely can hit. Uh, wait, did you hit the new one or the other one down by click? You you hit the new one, right? The new one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, great. Okay. Uh, anything else on your turn? No, I think that's it for me. All right, that's going to bring up Chez here. Um, amazing. Um, uh, weird question for the group. Does anyone remember hitting Shark Beef on a particularly low roll? Does anyone remember hit, hitting an armor class somewhere in the... Well, well, somebody got 16, I think, is the 16. lowest yeah. hit. I believe a 17 hit him. We've connected on 16. 16. Okay. I, I want to do this because I'm standing right next to him and the flavor <coughs> the flavor feels good for it. I'm going to do it. And let's see if luck is with me. I'm going to take Sharpshooter, take a minus five to hit, and do an extra plus ten damage if I do. So, oh. Love Sharpshooter. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right. Um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to throw both dice down, and we'll see how we do. I, I love it. a high risk, high reward. Let's do it. That's a, a good d d right there. Nat 20 on the first. Oh. And the next one is only a 10. But the first one's a nat 20. Ah. Okay, so that hits, right? Because you got a plus, you have a plus six, right? So this is, no, 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 no. The, this is going to be, this is going to be Oh, you're, a, you're taking minus five. It's not just this. And getting a plus 10. So I'm going to roll a bunch, um, and it's plus 13 after the roll to damage. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Sorry. Do you double the sharpshooter there. damage? Uh, no, you don't double sharpshooter because it's a flat, it's flat damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, I do double the hunter's mark that I still have on him. Yeah, um, yeah, yes. you do. Mm-hmm. Oof. Man, I've, I've never seen a pre-combat hunter's mark. It's and I, great. It's so I love it. 
Um, that's going to be 14, 18. Uh, that's going to be 31 points of damage to our boy, uh, Shark. That's, I believe that's Dammies. That's Dammies. That's Dammies. Oh, that Dammies. 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 Any damage, any damage above 30 is Dammies. Yeah. We're um, doing Dammies now. 20, 20 is Dammers. Uh, I'm going to, I'm actually going to, I'm going to wink at Wendy and turn around to Shark Beef and Wendy. look at him and go, be, and be like, like, Dimension door, mate. You know there's an unregulated portal. Blam! <laughs> oh man! Um, it, it just like dislocates his shoulder with the the pointer on it, and he's like still holding his sword, but like looking grizzled, and you can just see like bones sticking out here. Ah. And he's like, I'm just gonna keep coming back. You know her, Juz. I'm just gonna keep coming back. And he's he's still up, but he looks bad. Oh. Can I throw as a bonus action that last planar yes. warrior on there? If yes. this is what does it, I'm gonna lose my shit. Um, <laughs> uh, throw it on there. Okay, let's throw it on there. Let's see what happens. Um, is that something that gets doubled from critting? That you can do like, <gasps> like that a would. Smite? Yeah, that would get doubled from critting, a, actually. A la Paladin Smite. Which yeah, a la Paladin Smite, absolutely. Yeah. Um, You're right. That's the uh, uh, I will throw that on there. Here's Double another. that shit. Okay. Uh, that's, another, that's another 11 points of force damage. Oh, boy. Re I, 11? 11. That's how many hit points he had left. That's crazy. You're kidding me! I, no, I'm not oh kidding. I'm You're not, kidding I, I, me. I, I have all of the math right here. It is just straight up yeah. how it is. Aaron, yeah. you just saved my ass with that Woo. critting, that critting planar warrior thing because I rolled that was only two. That was two d8. Holy oh my that's god! That, that's, that's crazy because like when you said that, I was like, well, unfortunately, it's it, it's not because I know like you can't get it on the damage dice. And then you said that, I was like, oh, but oh, okay, so. Here we are. Um, this moment, Unreal. you say this cool line. Um, he's gritting this to you, and there's just another like. I mean, I don't know. Please, please correct me if if you want to add something here, Brennan. But it feels like there's like a look down moment, where he's like, <laughs> oh, and there's just like a tiny poof in his chest as he's like almost popped apart. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we killed one one person. That's not. That's and he said he was going to keep coming back. Um, <laughs> um, I'm, and also that I that you I I didn't make any promises. You guys are in the clear. This is this oh is, no, it was great. This is guild. Was, I'm like that was awesome, and I loved it. Uh, I, as a, I also just to round out my turn, I'm gonna blow the smoke off the blunderbuss and turn to this woman we've seen at the top of the tower and be like. Uh, excuse me, Miss. I'm a ranger for the uh, Planar Guild of Spatial Tra uh, for the Planar Guild of Spatial <laughs> Travel. Uh, we have reason to believe there may be an unregulated portal in the foundations of your building. I would love to live it, give it a little inspection if I can. Also, you seem to be beset by pirates. Um, <laughs> I love this because it's like uh, you know how you. I don't know if you've ever experienced like your friends, you know, who are like just your buddies your whole life, and then all of a sudden they're like themselves at work. You know, they're like you know, it's like a little bit of a different sure. vibe there. This is like. Feels like Chuz being like, "All right, here's let me do my my work." I gotta spiel. do my. I have to do my whole um, spiel. Yeah, 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 on the job. Yeah. So, um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna call it at this little moment here. But you see, um, this Vinia, this like vine creature, kind of like turn around and look at you, and it has its hood up at this point, and it says. And um, it drops its uh, the spell that was disguising it as this, huh. and you recognize uh, a very unwelcome sight here, Chuz, as this swirling portal is kind of uh, surrounded by what looks like these vines, but are like writh writhing bits of its own body, and is surrounding this spinning pool <gasps> of a face here. And Whoa. if you can if you take a peek at the stream, you can see uh, a little image of it there. That but, is so um, sick! <gasps> it just looks back at <laughs> Whoa, you sweet. and then adjusts its language and it goes, you will not put me back. And um, I think we're gonna call it right there. Brennan, if, would you be willing to, uh, we've hit 1030 here, we've gone a little past. Baby, uh, I'll be back next week. We gotta yeah. wrap it up. We gotta wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> we're not 
not going to leave it here. You're yes. Too yeah. Oh <laughs> You're too kind to us. I mean, I can just swallow you with a portal real quick if you want me to. But <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Chaz would rather die than get swallowed by a portal. All Wait. the training he's taken to avoid that exact fate. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, my well, God. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and being here with us. Um, I could listen to Chuz talk all night. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming back next week and hanging out with us. Yes, this is so fun. You guys fucking slap. This is so uh, great. Oh, oh my God. God. Um, so fun. Before we get out of here, uh, do, do you want to, do we have announcements? Do we want to roll through announcements? Do we have anything that we need to throw out? Um, the big one is that our Discord is now open to everybody. So yeah. uh, if you're interested in hanging out and talking about Better Than Heroes stuff or D&D or the games you're creating or dice, uh, please come hang out in our Discord. Uh, that also means that there are fun bonus things coming in for our patrons and for our subscribers. Uh, that is all on the way. So pop into our Discord, come hang out with us. We'd appreciate it so much. Yeah, I just posted, I found a cool picture of, like, the original Spelljammer GIF uh, card, and um, it looks like so many comedians, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I also I also wanted to mention that we have, like, canonically decided toilets are portals. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Oh, that toilet. is true. Wait, that toilet, uh, like, every right. toilet is a portal to <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> I, those are those are all highly regulated. There's highly a whole regulated. procedure where, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but it does imply the existence of a universe that's just all toilet space. Everybody, yeah, every. Space. Uh, There's yeah. some poor planet at the edge of wild yeah. space near near the exit. Uh, no! God. <laughs> Well, yeah. on that note, uh, <laughs> thank Shut you it down. so thank you so much for hanging out with us. Shout out to Big Top, Big uh, Top, Big, Big Top, Top. Big Top. Yow. Shout out Jason Wardell on the ones Yow. and two. Yow. Live sound some boops. Oh, and one more time for God. Case Brewery, who is directing the stream. Yow. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We are here every week at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, 6 p.m. That's right, right? Oh, boy. Yeah. I said it so yeah. confidently. No, you got it. Uh, <laughs> come hang out with us. Uh, and, and if you want to catch up with any of the stories that you're intrigued by, we have Arc 1 and Arc 2 are both on our YouTube at youtube.com slash better than here. Check it out. You can find us there. Cool. All right, y'all. We'll see you next week with Brennan. Thanks, buds. Enjoy. We're out. Brennan. Oh, thank you. Stargazer Moon Boy, Click the Crusher, Kai, Amalia Chef, and the Wind Rider Flute, Wim Teaser. They're better than heroes. <laughs>